We've been saving some audio for uh, your next visit, uh, Louie. Okay. Mm, a little surprise here, by the way. Oh, okay. We didn't even tell you about this one. Oh. Uh, some guy named, uh, I don't know, Eastside Dave. I don't know who the oh, fuck Jesus. this guy is. But, uh, oh, mm. shit. Oh, Jesus. I have no idea who he is, but he had a lot to say about you. Oh, sir. okay. Oh, oh, no. Wow, Whoa. I do remember this no. now. And, he, and he's hiding today because we're like, why don't you come in and confront Louis C.K. Uh -huh. with your words? But Let's he supposedly has something to do for Unmasked. Okay. No, like Ronnie, what? Ronnie has a lot to do for Unmasked. You have nothing to do. Right. For Unmasked. Yeah, what does Dave he, have to he do? Is he going to be there when I do this Unmasked yeah. thing? Oh, yeah, he is. He's part of it? Uh, no, nah, I, I, I think he's a... I well, think he's, sort of Yeah, exactly. Movie. He sits to find folks. They give, okay. You know, he walks around and goes, here, you're sitting he's here. He's a fucking woman. Yeah. Okay, so what What did he say? This is a, did well, he say that's on this show or this is on his on show? Ron on Fez, Ron Fez, he was completely three. sober when he was saying this stuff. Okay. <laughs> and this is uh, okay. Eastside Dave going off on you. Lou, you all right? I hate that guy. You all right? <laughs> I hate him. I hate him. You were making I recognize the... his value to this show. Oh, wait, where are we at? E Rock, what'd you give me? The first track is um, what set Dave off. Was this okay. is what I said about Eastside. Supposedly Dave. you started it. Okay. Right, okay. I didn't this know that. So this is yeah. you talking about Eastside Dave. Yeah, all sure. right. Sorry. Needed the setup. Lou, you all right? I hate that guy. You all right? <laughs> I hate him. I hate him. You were making I recognize the... his value to this show, and I, I understand he's funny, but I can't take it. I well, can't take it. He's just like a circus con on our oh, show. God, he actually it's does. So gross. He actually does like real good radio for Ronnie. And fair, is, but, oh, I know. Oh, yeah. I, I totally for get us, that. For us, he's just a oh, circus God. boy, really. The thing is that he kind of has the same like coloring as me, and that's what bothers me. I think he looks like he's gonna be related. Like if I was doing that. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, so you're kind of thinking yeah. like, yeah, kind of so you mirror like he's, naked. For, he's fucking up our people, you know. It's yeah. Like, <laughs> the redheads and the, yeah. You remind me of me a lot when I was a kid. Yeah. Kid. You know that this movie I'm doing uh, when they ask me to shave and they they when they do my hair they stick it way out and they make I dress in a, a disgusting wife beater and sweatpants yeah and uh, and I'm play a real loot like a really disgusting loser that's my role in the movie and I, when the, once they did my whole thing more I looked in the mirror I'm like I'm Eastside Dave that's what I am <laughs> I'm playing Eastside Dave in a movie and he's actually informed the character I'm playing in the movie like I think about him that's I helping get a yeah sick, just, and then I do it you're what? researching your part. All right, we're back live. So okay. you started supposedly. Yeah. Okay. You just don't like him. What well, mm. what day was that? When he was pulling something out he of his put, ass? He stuck. I think he stuck a lollipop. I mean, like it yeah. matters. He stuck a lollipop <laughs> up his asshole. Mm -hmm. He was naked. Yeah. And then he and then he ate it and went and then threw up into a bucket. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess I chafed at that a little for some odd reason that if, you know bummed me out. All right. Uh, Eastside Dave started <laughs> started with Patrice. He had something to say about Patrice first. Mm. Tree, Patrice is a good guy. No, you know what? He's not a good guy. I try to say hi to him every fucking time he's in there. He, he ignores me. Well, just because I shoved a dildo in my ass and all this and bagel in my ass and that bothered him. He was bothered. So by what? That. Yeah. Uh, Patrice doesn't like white boy fun. Right, right. No, I'm serious. Eastside Dave does what we call white boy fun, dumb fraternity crap. Mm -hmm. And Patrice is like, what is wrong with with uh, the white boys? Yeah, I'm not. A, I wouldn't expect Patrice to like. No, that, he's no. like, this is deeply disturbing. Why are you yeah. guys laughing as he's trying to take shit out of his own ass? Yeah, and it's just for the goof. Sure. All right. <laughs> and then finally, Dave got into you. Okay. To a black hey! guy. What? 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 Oh, got he, he has a thought. <laughs> Sam. Yep. What did he say about me? He didn't like you. Louis C.K. says he doesn't like me, and then he says he's he's acting in a movie. Oh no no no! Come on, Tito's. He's acting in a movie, and his inspiration is East Side Dave. What the fuck does that mean? So he hates me. Well, you know what, Louis C.K. I'm coming for you. I'll fucking hunt you down, bitch. Anytime you want, Ron Fez show, noon to three. It's getting a squared circle. See now. Yeah. He has his opportunity right now. And he said here. he would hunt you down. You are yeah. here. Where is he? Yeah. Yeah. Easy yeah. to hunt you down. Exactly. Right. You're a fucking. You're a pheasant sitting here yeah. with your feet up on the desk. Yes, yeah, right. so I was yeah. scheduled to be here. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I didn't have to Some track hunt. me. There's exactly. no real surprise here. Yes, it was on the schedule <laughs> exactly. for about a week. Uh, and then he continued. He okay. had to sing a song uh, to you. Oh my God. Does even Louis uh, C.K. know where he is? He's in the jungle, baby. You're in the jungle, baby! You're gonna die! Get in the ring, motherfucker! You heard me, Billy! Or Louie? You heard your fucking name, Billy! Billy! Yeah! Put your headphones on, that's it.
Babbling about, yeah, and that's the reaction we were hoping for. Nothing, else, nothing, because you know? that's what is he doing? But he uh, continued with his song. Okay, in the jungle, welcome to the jungle. That's your I wanna fuck you up, Louis C.K. I wanna get you, Louis. Serpentines like poison and snakes. Woo! Come on, Slash. Come on. Oh, Axel Rose is the fucking best. Woo! Come on, Louis! You fucking bald HBO prick! Welcome to the jungle! Ouch! Hey, 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 my day! This is Ben's and Bucks Bulls and it's the front of the day! Holy shit. Wow. Can we at least get him on the phone? Bald HBO prick, is that what he said? Yeah, yeah something yeah. like that. Uh, yeah. okay. Well, yeah. hey, Dave, tell us how you really feel. Yeah, I know. Oh, oh hey, regular Joe. Yeah, it's a regular joke. Well, maybe we shouldn't play the rest then. Cause there's, there's more? A, there's, well, there's a few more. It's very hurtful. Yeah, it's very hurtful to Lou. It's hurting my feelings a little bit. In the jungle, Louis C.K. is in the jungle. He's going to deal with his Sunday, baby. With my cock. <laughs> with oh. my Valtrex cock, baby. Oh, his Valtrex cock. Wow. Slash again. <laughs> Come on, Slash. Thanks for the narration. <laughs> Is it I you never Louis Sick is so fast? So fast. So fast. So fast. Yeah. Wow. You see I gave a bad day to Red Hats, Louis CK! <laughs> You give a bad name to redheads, you fat prick! <laughs> Welcome to the jungle, Louis! I'm gonna fuck you up, baby! Wow, that was actually musically pretty... It was almost it was, right on. Right. He was yeah. cutting the yeah. uh, Axl Rose I like Rose that he's down. respecting the, the guitarist, too, and giving him his... Yeah, his, yeah, yeah. He's shutting up for the guitar yeah. solo. Yeah. <laughs> Very important. Um, no. Well, Eastside, Eastside Dave decided not to confront you. Yeah, this well, is a guy that to this? puts well, stuff in his ass, by not, the way. Not yet, because okay. we got another clip here. All right. You know what I'm asking, Louie? You're cock and balls, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to fuck you. <laughs> Never heard this version. <laughs> well, <laughs> they get the box set. You know? <laughs> it's on the box set. <laughs> Come on, Louie. Come on, Duncan. 57th Street, Manhattan. Here we are. Mm hmm I know you're in New York, Louis Gay! <laughs> 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 yeah! We're in the jungle! Welcome to the jungle! Go on, you'll bring me son of us! Louis C.K. on his knees! Knees! Welcome to the jungle! In the frogs and snakes! Oh, bring it down, though! Oh, oh, yeah! Jungle! Welcome to the jungle! Oh, for the love of Louis Christ, start it off! Stop the song. It's almost over. It's almost over. Welcome to the jungle, Louis C.K. Uh. Fuck you with my dildo. I'll kill you, Louis. Yeah, and a lot of people saying that he was uh, whacked and drunk mm. and stuff. No, I was, no, there, no, I was he, there. He was uh, stone sober that day. Uh, Louis. Sounds like. I just want to make that perfectly sure, clear. Sure. Uh, one more quick clip, and then we'll <laughs> get uh, Louis's response. What other comics were working down there? Uh, Louis C.K. Um, He's great. Yeah. Mm, you're right. <laughs> what? Fuck him. Oh, yeah, forget that. I don't know what happened because Louis C.K. asked me what Dave was saying about him because apparently he'd gotten messages that I'm <laughs> sure. About him. I'm sure Dave went crazy. He got messages that he got pwned on the Ron Fed show. Can we please never use the term pwned? <laughs> I don't even like when it's written, but I really hate when it's said. And there you go. Okay. I was very obsessed with you, Lou. Well, look, um, you know, <laughs> <laughs> are you flattered? <laughs> yeah. Here's the thing. Okay. I feel bad. I, I'm I'm sorry about what I said about. It. I mean, you may be surprised. I, I probably it's better radio if I come back with a lot of vitriol and hatred. You know, no, and say no, fuck no. him. Of course not. I feel bad that I hurt his feelings. That sounds like somebody who's really hurt. 
That's some. It's like somebody who feels who I made him feel so bad that he sat down and worked on that song. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and so I, I'm sorry. I really am. I, I, I don't. You know, look. When somebody shoves a lollipop up their ass and then eats it and vomits in front of me. It kind of bums me out a little bit, but <laughs> that's not to say that he's not a very... Look, I'm, I congratulate him on his wedding. I heard he got married recently. I had a kid. A year ago. Third. That's all great. And, you know, and uh, he obviously, like I said, during insulting him, he adds a lot of value to this show and their show. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, Mr. Uh, Mr. Side of David, uh, <laughs> I, I, you know, I, I apologize. I retract what I said about him. Oh no! I, wow. don't, I don't hate Why him. Why are you doing that? It's because nice. I'm, you know, I don't he's, want to hurt a guy's feelings. He's going to get off on this though. Seems like a nice guy. That's fine. I don't he's care if he off. masturbates to it. I don't care if he <laughs> jizzes all over his stomach to me saying I'm really sorry, <laughs> Eastside Dave, for saying I hate you. Well, that could be the, and uh, that I could don't. be his next trick. Right. Ronnie plays his audio, and Eastside Dave and has to jack off, jack to off and and shoot warm <laughs> jizz all over his fine. <laughs> That's fine. I'm sure that would it'll be a just lay over whatever. Eastside Dave. I'm sure he's got a lot of glaze, you know, covers on his belly. Yeah. of many jizz shots, and uh, but no, I I think he seems like a fine guy, and I shouldn't have said what I said. Message message delivered and heard. I and uh, I I'm I'm afraid of you. Uh, I, I'm sad to be in the jungle. Please let me out of the jungle. <laughs> I, I ask for safe passage out of the jungle. Yeah. And you don't have a real gun, so you can't really shoot him while no, you're I in the jungle. No, I can shoot blanks at him and make him flinch, but yeah, I can't that's really That's about him. all you can do if you were listening yeah. early. Yeah. yeah. I retract my earlier statements in regards to Mr. Eastside David of the Ron and Fez show. Wow. Uh, I regret any harm that I caused him. And I wish him luck with all of the foodstuffs and otherwise that he puts inside of his asshole <laughs> and then eats and then vomits while naked and masturbating in front of people. I, wanna, uh, I, wanna I wish a, him luck in all of that. I, I want to do a Back to the Future thing because yeah. there is a very good possibility oh. that Ronnie's now playing this audio right. and Eastside Dave is jerking off as he listens right. to you. Okay, so you're jerking off right now yeah. mm -hmm. listening to me and I'm sorry. And I just want you to picture me kneeling in front of you Looking up at you, saying sorry, and just and you just coming all over my sorry face. <laughs> <laughs> I can actually jerk off to that. <laughs> Who can't? Two redheaded guys. Yeah. Yeah. One coming on the other's yeah. face. One straightening out the other one. Straight. That's right. <laughs> exactly. Redhead humiliation Fine. four. And one of my eyes closes because it's all stingy. Yeah. yeah. But I keep taking it. That's right. I take it like a champ. That's right. You lap that cockhead like a That's puppy. Right. It's fine. And I got no dog in this fight. I'm, you know, all right. I'm not gonna stick to my guns. The last thing I'm going to do is go, well, but he... <laughs> yeah, yeah, he can't be going How back How dare he say I'm in a jungle? The likes of him. How dare he sing along to that song and say, fuck me? Like a I'm lunatic. not going to take that lying down. No. He no, wins. Complete madman. Right. He said, Very Dave, sorry. you win as you sit you're right, there jerking off in front of Ron and Fez. Wonderful. You're right, and I'm wrong. All right. Uh, <laughs> and you're doing Unmasked today with Ron Bennington at That's 1 right. o'clock at Comics. Uh, I forgot the address. 14th, 14th and 9th, and 9th Avenue. Yeah. All right. We got this to play real fast. Traveling Virus 2008 Saturday, August 2nd at the PNC Bank Art Center. Art Center! Hometown, New Jersey. Hometown! Confirmed comedians include Jim Norton, Norton. Patrice O'Neill, O'Neill. Robert Kelly, Bob Kelly. Otto and George, Otto and George. Rich Voss. There will be 1,000 lawn seats going on sale today at 9 a.m. 9 a.m. For only $10. $10. For more information, visit Ticketmaster.com. The 2008 Traveling Virus Tour. PhD Bank Art Center. Be there. <laughs> That's pretty good. Uh, uh, yeah, awesome. tickets are on sale right now, and people are getting their ten dollars lawn tickets for twenty dollars. So that's uh, that's good. <laughs> Fucking surcharges. We we just we're trying to do the right yeah. thing. Yeah, that's hard. People man. like thank you for my ten dollars lawn ticket that cost me twenty some odd oh, bucks. Oh man, it's so brutal. <laughs> it's unbelievable. It's really bad. Just let us sell our damn tickets for ten lousy dollars. What's Isn't their it? fucking we, money for? We should set up a day of the show and just take $10. That's it. 
Give me 10, you're in. Thank you. Oh, you know what kind of trouble that is? No kidding. A little cover charge at the door. So, But uh, keep calling. we got a few uh, a few long seats oh, left man. at $10 a piece. You guys want to come inside? Yeah! Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, we'll take a quick break. We can get the audience inside and continue with the Opie and Anthony yeah. show with uh, Louis C.K. Uh, uh, new, uh, I forgot your, your plug. Your, it's the uh, State Theater. He's working the okay, State, State Theater. State Theater. Was it July 10th in New Brunswick, right? New Brunswick. Yeah, big fucking whoop. No. State Theater tonight. Tonight. Oh, tonight. Jesus. I really, I didn't it's mean okay. to do that. Tonight. <laughs> What tonight. an asshole. I'm off by the I'm wrong month. Yeah, State tonight. Theater tonight with Louis C.K. and uh, just All new your, jokes. Yeah. All new shit. I saw the hour. It's great. <laughs> Thank you. It's very, very good. Thanks. All right, we'll continue. <laughs> We're back with the Opie and Anthony show. Yeah. Hi. Boy, boy, these uh, these people are going to be very disappointed yeah. in about an hour. <laughs> yeah. All that energy, and then they're going to be leaving. Oh, See, it's wow. nice though. That was no fucking big deal. A lot more women lot than normal here. <laughs> What's that about? Oh, hi. How are you in the bow? You with a guy? All, All right. right. Hold on. Where's, it, where's that mic there? Huh? Why would the wireless work? Try it again. Yes, I am. There right. you go. Okay, and Miss, you guys are a nice little couple, right? Never met him before in my life. Are you just kidding? Never it's... met him before. You're, you're just sitting on on the couch for no reason with Shit. almost Troy Aikman? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sharing a That's chair funny. with a strange man. Oh, she's a lovely girl. She's wearing a short skirt, sharing a chair with a man. Is that a skirt? It is. I, I thought they were shorts. Could you move your bag? Uh, <laughs> I don't think I can. No, no, I won't look. <laughs> Sorry, right, I'll show you later. Can you move? Really? Your bag? <laughs> what a trooper! And you can move. She doesn't know what? the show, Jim. She doesn't know. What's that? She doesn't know the show. Oh really, mm-hmm. Miss? What do you? What, what brings you to, to the studio? I was lying. He brought me here. We're not together. Oh, you got me. Oh boy. <laughs> now not I have together, to bite Jim. your face. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's your little tattoo on your foot? It's very sexy. Oh, it's for track. It's the foot with the wings. Does it make you go faster, actually? <laughs> yes. yes. Wow. How great would it be if Christopher Reeve had one of those? <laughs> I know. <laughs> Too soon? <laughs> no, that was an O in a pre oh, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Jimmy? They did fully enjoy oh, that. Nobody gets offended by that. So yeah, what, so. Christopher Reeve? So what? He, he <laughs> so what? couldn't look. move, and now he really can't move. He's fucking, <laughs> exactly. fucking dead. Yeah. Now he's so paralyzed. That he's so, fucking that's not even a, it's dead. Not even, basically, not even a big switch for him. What no. they do is straighten him out and just turn his head off. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. That's right. That is the ultimate paralysis. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Fucking dead being asshole. dead. I bet you didn't even bury him. They probably just leave him around the house. Like, like, you know, this is how we remember him. So, uh, let's just hit him up for money every once in a while. Yeah. Um, young, we... young Sam Roberts, everyone. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. He's coming in the studio, so he must have something for the radio show. Sam, what do you got for the show today? You brought us Tomato Guy yesterday that kind of put, put the whole uh, show in, 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 in nothingness. In fucking awful mood. Oh, yeah. I thought it was all right. What do you got today, young Sam? I was going to videotape some people if you made them do funny things and then edit those videos and put them on the website. Who wants to do something funny that could Woo! be a YouTube? Funny. They're actually <laughs> raising their hands. <laughs> oh, hold on. Rosie, Rosie O'Donnell, what do you want to do? <laughs> Oh, it, was a fucking, it was a headband. What do you want to do? Yeah, but... Jimmy Norton, I want to touch butts with you. Oh. <laughs> How old are you? <laughs> Seventeen. That's a guy. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. I thought when you said Rosie O'Donnell, like, don't be mean to that lady. No, this is a very <laughs> This is a tender this time a for him. Nice guys. I, I can't because you're seventeen. However, had you come here five years ago? <laughs> I think I'm going right, I go left. <laughs> uh, and what about the other guy who wants to do something? Uh, whatever you want me to do. Ah, uh, we hate that. Oh, oh come on. No, it's like whatever it. you We're want me to do, guys. We're not big fans of the whatever you want us to do. Why not? You gotta yeah, we offer like when something. You guys Bring come something. up with something. Yeah. I'll I touch sh- butts with Jimmy. Jump out uh, the fucking uh, window, uh, copycats. <laughs> who are you? Uh, my name is Will, and I'm from South Jersey. Hi, Will. Hey, Will. How you doing? Hey, I don't care. <laughs> There's another mic in front of you there. And who's the young lady hiding right here behind this gentleman? Someone that doesn't want to talk. Hi. <laughs> Hi. 
Okay. Uh, yeah. just, she's just falling apart. I know. Hi, she's I'm Glenda. Shy. Hi. Do you that? I'm Glenda. Hi. Hi, Glenda. Hi. Where's Glenda from? Yeah. Uh, uh, I'm from Connecticut. From what? <laughs> Connecticut? Connecticut? Oh, wow. oh my God. That was part of uh, the Soviet Union. Connecticut? I don't know. Connecticut had an accent like that? What's, what's the accent? From Connecticut? Uh, what? Oh. You said you're from Connecticut. What is that, Lou? What's what your I'm, color, I'm cunt? Puerto Rican. What? Yeah. Yeah? You, you don't look Puerto Rican, though. What I does know. that mean, but Lou? But then again, uh, oh, oh, well, <laughs> then again, Louis doesn't but look Mexican. Mexican. I don't but look Louis Mexican. Louis C.K. is Mexican. Yeah. You're Puerto Rican. Is he really? Puerto yeah. Rican. You're Puerto Rican with some yeah. weird. Even she's acting. looking at me going, "You can't be Mexican." <laughs> she just told me, yeah, she just put the most puzzled look she's on her face. She's a really white Puerto Rican. Yeah. How are you Puerto Rican? Explain. But no, I, my mom. Can I guess? Family, one Puerto Rican German, fucked another yeah. one. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh, you think? You well, know, that never happens. You think a bit darker, yeah. darker skin, <laughs> darker hair, bigger butt. She's got white relatives. What's I'm, the accent yeah. from, though? It's just. I don't know, Spanish. Uh, but I went to school in France. I spent, you know, oh, quite yeah. a bit there, too. Uh, you speak oh. French? Uh, yes, I do. Or Greek? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do some of that dirty French for us. Like, you know. I like what? Like, like uh, voulez-vous coucher avec moi ce soir? Oh. That's it? Ferme la bouche. <laughs> what was that? What was that? Uh, you know what it is. Ferme la bouche. That's said I that. want to uh, sleep with oh, you. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> bed with you. No, we want, like, uh, I want to suck your cocks. Oh, come on. I say like that. In French. No, no. In French. No, no, no. no, I'm done. I'm no. D- what are you? What are you, say? Josh? I'm done. I'm yeah. done. <laughs> oh, that kid was good yesterday, wasn't he? <laughs> oh, I can't talk. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking sorry I'm not mommy and daddy hugging you. <laughs> okay, so you wanted to uh, say what? She didn't want to oh. say, you pointed her out. She didn't want to say anything. Yeah, she does want to she talk. She did, though. Say in Spanish? Did. Yeah, she kept fucking I can say in Spanish if you want. Yeah, yeah you definitely. won't swear in French, but you'll swear in Spanish? <laughs> yeah, because I want to hear if you know any. What? Do you what? know Spanish? <laughs> he does. He yeah. Spanish. Exactly. Who? My or first the, language. Louis, why don't you talk to her in Spanish? I don't feel like it. I'm making a sandwich. I don't care. I don't need to prove that I'm Mexican. Just some fucking Puerto Rican from Connecticut. <laughs> Uh, you see how they in fights? That's why yeah, they yeah, yeah, I understand. Well, yeah. All no, right. no unity. All right, why don't you right. say something? Why would I have unity from people from a fucking island? I mean, there's no there's no similarity to Mexicans and Puerto Ricans. No, I know. Well, a lot of people just lump them in the same category. <laughs> yeah, That's lazy. Exactly. <laughs> it's lazy. Easy. Jesus. Thought we'd get more than that. Thank That's you, funny. Jim. <laughs> it was just so matter of fact. It didn't yeah. sound yeah. you were kidding. It yeah. wasn't a joke. It's just the way I think. <laughs> Are you going to talk dirty for us in Spanish? Yeah, um, what do you want me to say? Whatever. Oh, boy. Jesus, Jim. Te quiero mamar el pene ahora. What? What? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I want to suck your cock now. Whoa. Wow. Better than what I would have come up with. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then can you speak Spanish? <laughs> <laughs> no? I'm missing every fucking <laughs> one here. <laughs> And she was implying that she wanted to suck my cock and then speak Spanish. <laughs> also, we said it uh, during the break, but we should say it for the live show. Pat Duffy's a celebrity today. Yes. You want to explain to the audience out there? Oh. Yeah, you already explained in here, but to the people in their cars and trucks and shit. Well, uh, there's an article on MSNBC.com about people talking on their phone in their cars, and they used a picture of me as the file photo. Were you on the phone yep. in your car? Yeah. There was douchebag on the phone <laughs> in his car just yeah. looking. I really Mr. do look very douchey in the picture. Oh. Yeah. It's it's should, the headline should have been, why is this Amish guy using a machine? <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> He's on How the phone. How did the picture get taken? How did it I happen? have no idea. Really? I, I was. I have no recollection of it. My camera. Oh. <laughs> 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 Why fucking dummies on the phone, but they, you see the back. There's like a fucking a, a dog leash and like a bloody ribbon in the fucking <laughs> in the bumper. <laughs> He's whistling. It's all tarped off. <laughs> Little patent leather shoe. <laughs> <laughs> Funny. With a never again to be buckled buckle. <laughs> Wow, thanks, Kenny. I, I asked Kenny for peanut butter 
and uh, a salary. dog. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, what happened, Jimmy? You got a, you got a lot of celery there. Yeah, he's, wow. He, uh, he, uh, he uh, stacked them up nice and neat for me. Kenny's very efficient. <laughs> I didn't have anywhere else to go with that. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were amazed by the pile of celery. He well, that's what I, that's what I want. Yeah, that's but a I lot think of celery. Look like they wanted some celery improv. <laughs> 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 Canoe. <laughs> Club soda candy, everyone, once again. Yes. Okay. We're doing sitcom entrances once again on the show today. Uh, all right. Uh, Kenny, a lot of celery there. Hey, well, Jimmy might be hungry. <laughs> oh, that's, that's I, it. I got to be prepared. To do what? Stop the show and extract? <laughs> You want some, Kenny? I like to make it nice. That was a nice presentation. Uh, that's too many. That's too many. <laughs> Attaboy, Lou. Well, maybe, Lou, maybe you wanted to taste one and share your fruit salad? Uh, no. <laughs> no. That's too many celery. I debated it, but, you know, I did it anyway. Uh, uh, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jimmy, you think there's going to be an email later apologizing for the uh, abundance of celery oh, from yeah. Kenny? I'm sorry if the pile of celery was visually unpleasant. <laughs> <laughs> this is no joke, people. Kenny will apologize later. I don't want him to. Anybody want a piece of celery? Yeah. yeah. Fuck. Okay. <laughs> Hang? Yeah. Do we have any more? No, that's it. That's, that's, that's the entire celery bunch. Would you buy me one piece? No, it comes in a bunch, a stalk. It's a bunch or a stalk. What is it? It's a bunch of a stalk. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and I cut it up like nice for Jimmy. Oh, you cut that. Yeah, and so I wash it. You went and bought his whole stalk of celery and then cut it into pieces for him? Yeah. They sell it like that. Faggot. <laughs> 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 sorry, that, that's what like a personal assistant does. I know, well. and I'm You're not sorry. my assistant, though. You, but Kenny doesn't even Jeez, wash the celery. He just spits on it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got a question coming in from uh, Stupid Canada. Let's say hi to Eve. Eve. Yes. What's up? Wait, your name oh, is Eve. Left. Yeah, you got a weird name there, kid. Yeah, man, it's uh, it's the French version of uh, yeah. In French, Eve in, in means Ev. So oh, it's, it's, yeah. It's, is it's it spelled like French. is it spelled like Y? -E yeah, Y V E S. Y V E. Your name is <laughs> <laughs> It's not Eve. Funny. Eve. Exactly. That was Jacques Cousteau's middle name, right? Why is it? Yeah, exactly. Hey, what are you doing, New Year's? You <laughs> <laughs> see, doesn't work. <laughs> All right, what do you got? Uh, yeah, I've got a question for your Puerto Rican back there. All right, um, for your Puerto Rican. Or it's more, um, it's more of a, an order. Sus macur salop. Ask her to translate that one. Oh wow! Say it again, sir. Suck my cock, whore. <laughs> exactly. What? You got it? Yeah. Sus yeah. macur salop. He's saying suck my cock, whore. Yeah, it's. Uh, I know Canadian? a little French. Just yeah. French Canadians are funny, anyways. Um, oh. 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 No, you got me there, Face. dude. Face. Face. You got me there, dude. Obviously, Face. you're smarter than me. Can you translate it for me, then? I'm sorry, come again? Oh, oh God. God. No, go ahead. I don't know. So you... my cru, you, you don't know that one? No, I don't. Who mange my cru, who, uh, with your sperm? Drink, no? Drinks my sperm? Was that? What? Do you want, do you want to come? Oh. Do you want no, I have a nice one right here, hon. Do you want to come? Oh. Est-ce que tu le prends dans le cul aussi? You take him the ass? <laughs> hey, how do you say fart box in, uh, <laughs> in French? Uh, trou de cul. <laughs> Asshole. Yeah, cocu. Yeah, exactly. Oh. Yeah. All right. Hey. Okay. Hey, you're a bit work there, sir. <laughs> okay, well, thanks a lot. A long time listener, you're great. Continue uh, on the good work. Thank uh, you. What a polite way to end. Wait, how are you? <laughs> I'm <a> Canadian. <laughs> but how are you a long time listener if you're from Canada? We haven't been up there that long. Well, uh, XM, I've been uh, listening for a couple of years now, and uh, I mean, I'm on the road a lot, so uh, you guys are always on. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> what's, uh, what's your favorite bit on the show? Favorite bit. Yeah. yeah.
Sure, yeah. I'm always embarrassed. I was just uh, too easy. Yeah. Uh, Seth. like shooting croissants in a barrel. <laughs> Seth. <That> French thing. <laughs> we got to give them all the catchy things we do on the show. They appreciate it. Seth, Jersey, what's up? Hello? All right. Seth? Hello? Hello? What's up? Hi, <laughs> Seth. So just key your handset, son, if you can't speak. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I love that part. Zips and the wires. <laughs> Lovely fucking war, gentlemen. <laughs> Seth? Uh, Seth. <laughs> All right. Seth. Jesus. Seth's uh, Just having issues. Rebuilding an engine. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> fucking his gas tank or something. Brian, Georgia, what's up? Hey, guys, what's going on? Hi, Brian. Hey, man. Hey, uh, I just want to let uh, Jimmy and Louie know I seen you down in Bonnaroo, and you guys were really good. Oh, thanks, man. Thanks, man. I'm a, I drive a bus for widespread panic, and I tried to get back to see you guys one time, and oh. all I kept running into was Brian Posen, and I couldn't couldn't get away from it. Why? Oh, you 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 widespread panic, weren't they? Uh, like the Sunday night headliners yeah, on the main stage? Yeah, played late late Sunday night. Like closed it out. Are you the regular bus driver? Well, I drive one of the buses. Yeah. Oh, okay. How were they? Uh, the show? Yeah. Yeah, the show was awesome. I don't know them. They're like really popular. Yeah. Yeah, tonight we're playing in, in Morrison and uh, at Red Rock. Okay. In Colorado. Oh yeah. So I, I just want to let you cake. guys know you're really good. And, uh, I had a really great time. Thank good, you, man. Thank you. All right, Thanks, guys. Fine. All right. We um Here's we didn't finish compliments. talking to the audience. Oh, Jimmy, you got some more questions for them? I see that we got uh, like uh, like a New York Met and a New York Yankee right in the front oh, row there. It looks like this going to be a wow. rival. How are you guys wow. even getting along? Wow. Wow. Subway Same series city, going down yeah. today, huh? Yeah. We're uh, going to the second game tonight, Shay. Oh, I bet you one of you guys will be razzing the other one. Uh, yeah. Are you guys friends? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, friends. Mm. Yeah. How great would it be if this ended with one of them in cuffs <laughs> and the other one with a fucking broken Michelob on his neck? <laughs> <laughs> fucking friendship ruined, night of blackout drinking. A uh, question for the Met fan because we talked about it earlier. Are you bummed that Shea Stadium's going away? That shit. Not really. It's of a real shithole. Of course real not. Real shithole. Mm. Mm. And what about All you, right. sir? <laughs> <laughs> But uh, looking forward to City Field though. It looks pretty awesome, and can't wait to drop a hundred dollars per sick uh, per ticket. You know, per ticket, per ticket. <laughs> He's hey, a little nervous, Jim. I know it happens. Are you, are you happy that they're bringing the uh, the baseball hat? The, the apple hat where they hit a home, make a homer and the apple comes out of the I'm hat. I'm going to be honest. Yeah, I do. Why? I do want the... Uh, Why? <laughs> How about a big asshole and a fucking Woody <laughs> Van Rock and fall? <laughs> That'll be fine too, Jimmy. That'll be fine. <laughs> yeah. What? I like Willie. Wait, he's got a Willie Randolph joke. Like Willie Randolph. Hit a home run. <laughs> 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 Yeah, the Yankees are doing the same thing. After you hit a home run, Joe Torre's prostate. <laughs> <laughs> you have to kick it to Los Angeles. <laughs> well, there you go. Longtime friends with a little rival. Yeah, like I know. It's crazy. It's kind of heated. Kinda Watch heated. Out. <laughs> yeah. And we have, I, we have to, I have to introduce one of my friends, even though she might be embarrassed. Really? Yeah, so we make sure we're nice to her. Uh, Vinnie Brand's daughter. So we have to be very what nice. is that yeah, about? Wait, way. are you kidding? Yes, yeah, the very That's beautiful Vinnie Brand's daughter. <laughs> yeah. But I didn't want anybody to say anything ludicrous to her, so I had to point her out oh, because I know us. Or I know you. <laughs> yeah. I know her, but you guys might not. That's Vinny's daughter? Yes. Why would he let her come here today? <laughs> yeah, I don't think he knows I'm here. Oh, oh. All right, well, aren't, oh, oh she looked like Vinny's daughter. <laughs> How old's uh, Vinny's daughter? Um, 19. 19. Oh my Holy God. shit. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Fucking Christ. Yeah. Is that your boyfriend? Jesus, douche. Oh, no, that's my best friend, Mike. Yeah, Mike? Best friend. Oh, best best friend. That's the guy Mike. that's trying to have sex with you. <laughs> <laughs> Best friend. Best friend, Mike. Mike, do you, do you do you like Mike? Do you like Daniela? <laughs> We've been friends for about three years now, yeah. But I'm actually dating. 19, 18, 70, 16. Wow. Oh, yeah. She's like a real relationship already. Ah, nice best, <laughs> nice best friend. I'm actually dating her best friend. That's how we met. She yeah. She Wait. hooked me up with her best friend. Uh, oh, so you're dating her friend? Yes. All right, that could be legit. Uh, how 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 long you been with her friend? Oh, about over two years now. Oh, all right. Where's her friend today? She's probably sleeping. Oh, yeah. Yeah. She um. <laughs> she's really not too interested in the show. I try to get her to listen, but she's probably still in bed now. Oh, yeah. she's awful. <laughs> Why doesn't she like the show? She doesn't have XM, and uh, she doesn't mm. want to pay for it. So. Oh, well. And she's not up early enough to listen on 92.3. So. 
All right. Yeah. What time is it? 10, 10, 10, 10, she's still sleeping? I was going to buy her an XM unit, actually. So. Yeah. Well, why don't you? Why don't you wait till the merger, though? But she's sleeping late because you fucked the shit out of her last night? <laughs> <laughs> Valid question, Mike. <laughs> I can't answer that, no. You can't answer that. All right. So you're, now, of course, we all know your father, and I, I know your father for 15 years, maybe more. Um, is seems, he like, seems like 25 years. Though, it really right? does. Yeah, just endless. Boy. Does, uh, <laughs> does he, did he, did he monitor everybody you date? Um, I don't think he meets everyone I date. <laughs> oh. oh. But really? Not mm. really. Jesus. He's, a little, like, he's really scary when you meet him. I know, he's scary and I know him. <laughs> I saw Vinny bite somebody's finger one time. Really? Yeah, really? it was uh, it was year, many, many years ago when the Stress Factory first opened. And the, Vinny, in fairness, was provoked. The guy was drunk, like a drunk patron, and Vinny was booting him. And the guy was pointing in Vinny's face aggressively. And I'm like, oh, you don't want to do that. And uh, Vinny just bit his finger and held it in his mouth. Wow. And that man didn't point again for the rest of that. <laughs> so you're a sophomore in college? Mm hmm Cool. What you gonna major gonna be? Um, communications. Why do you want to get into the business now? Um, I don't know why I picked. Commu it's easy, and I, I don't know. If you're like good with That's people, good life communications plan. is like a good major. Just as long okay. as it's easy. Do you want to be an entertainer of some sort? Mm-hmm. What kind? Um, any kind. It any doesn't involve like dollar bills. <laughs> Hold on, excuse me. Uh, no, 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 Vinny's j daughter's joke, sir. Uh, anyone else, please, you could spit on them, but I, I can't with her. I know her for f too many years. You have to be you? Nice what did her. you know when she was a little little girl? Yeah, I remember. I I, I met the uh, my know first. No, you know <laughs> when she was a little girl. <laughs> you, 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 knew, you knew her when she was a little girl. <laughs> what do you, what do you do? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Uh, <laughs> Smart ass. What? <laughs> what? No, he's saying he doesn't know what you don't know what Ben Anthony's doing right now. No, right. I don't either. I need to. I, uh, no, I, 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 I first, oh, I, perhaps, I, I uh, first met her when she was. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was uh, it was right after Kenison died, I think. Uh, I yeah. went to her, her, her mm -hmm. father. Your mom's the one that told me that Sam died. It's all a story. Okay. Back in what, 91, 92? Did you watch Vinny change her diaper back in the day? No, I didn't. It wasn't that close. We were just doing kids together. We didn't open up to each other emotionally. I would just pick up Vinny and he would scream about shit all the way to the gig, and that was the end of it. <laughs> that was it. All right, so enjoy the show. Actually, I remember oh, no. I met you when I was like 14, <laughs> and I thought you were like really, really dirty. And I was just like, I don't even want to meet you, boy. And then after I met you, you like... I thought you were the funniest person ever. Oh, thank you. And you taught Aww. me how to play chess. What's that? You taught me how to play chess. Really? Oh, wait, that's why do nice. we play chess? At the salad. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. I forgot you came in. I was, uh, but no, but I met you like when you were like literally, you were really young. Oh, you don't remember, obviously. Yeah, yeah, she blocked it out. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so. <laughs> She'll remember in therapy. Yeah. <laughs> no, was, that was like 90. She'll remember under hypnosis. In <laughs> <laughs> That's funny that her father has a more feminine voice than she does. <laughs> yeah, really? your, your father sounds like a midget. You know that, right? Yeah. yeah. I've like, heard it before. It's a little obscure, but he sounds exactly like Matt Roloff <laughs> from Little People, Big World. We did that bit too many times. We don't need to do it again. No. Today. Anybody else have wow, anything Wow, I else just there? never knew that uh, he had a, a good sperm. Yeah, <laughs> like you gotta hand it to him. You gotta hand it to him. Excellent DNA. What was uh, you know, what's, what's mom looking like? Uh, you know, obviously your mom's a supermodel. Yeah. Um, She's very pretty. I haven't seen her in years, but I haven't seen my mom in years. She doesn't look anything like me, anyhow. <laughs> no. Wait, you haven't seen your mom in years? No, but my I look exactly like my stepmom. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, that's really right. shady, actually. No, that's cool. No, you could pretty much fuck up family. That's good. I like you that. Know who the, wait, she looks like her stepmom? Yeah. yeah. Oh, How wow. did that happen? Why do you have to be related to Vinny, man? I know. We got some questions to ask you. <laughs> She's a very well, lovely can I, girl. I know. Can I ask this? Why haven't you seen your mom in all these years? Oh, um, the Stress Factory, it's in New Brunswick. It's like the best comedy club ever. I'm sure you guys have all been there. This is How the beginning to watch it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That is a good Wait, plug. Was, he was asking about 
my favorite comedy club, right? But how would one call it? Yeah. <laughs> she doesn't want to talk about her mom. I understand. She doesn't want to talk about her mom. I figured I'd try at least, you know, because yeah. yeah. we got a lot of guys around here that hate their mom. So I'm just maybe. Do you know how you would relate? Oh, do you know how stupid I am? Huh. I really thought she was getting into the mom story. I'm such a dumb motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. no, Why am I in a business where I have to communicate for a living? Mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, but what about? <laughs> yeah. 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 All right, we won't go there, obviously. Yeah. Uh, well, I hope you're having fun. Yeah. Would you like a piece of celery? Yes, please. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> well, this is getting, go over to Jimmy. weird now. No. Right. Yeah, I don't she touch skipped over. Well, she knows me. No, I can't be nice to her. She's my oh. friend. <laughs> All right. Uh -huh. huh? She's fucking ridiculous. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I just gotta be honest. Someone here's gotta be fucking honest. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, very pretty, yes. Oh, oh, look at Jim. Oh, very pretty, yes, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> Indeed, that's no, no. If it was anybody else of course. that you yes, didn't know, pretty, you'd little... already have fucking 18 MySpace no. phone numbers and every other <laughs> being thrown at it by cannon. We have MySpace. We have MySpace to each other. MySpace? You've yeah. never seen more polite MySpace. No shit. Godspeed, dear. Because <laughs> I look at her, I see a pretty girl, but what I really see is a fist <laughs> attached to a club owner. <laughs> yeah, you have uh, you have stuff to lose. I read your book, Happy Endings. I thought it was fucking hilarious. I read it in one day. I MySpace him, tell him how funny it is. And then he writes me the most polite MySpace message back. I'm like, really? how can I read Happy Endings and then get this message back? It was actually embarrassing when you like you, you know because when you know someone for that many years and they read that. <laughs> all those made up stories. Yes, all that. I don't think they made up at all. Yeah. No, they're really not. There's actually worse stuff I edited out. Let me uh, just try to enlighten you a little bit. He's trying to be sweet on MySpace. He's yeah. trying to be like sweet. Like, I'm not that guy. There's an ulterior motive there. It no, might I take love a couple Norton. of years. We're being that guy. It might take <laughs> a couple of years. It might take. But. It, yeah. No, there are very few. I'm cock blocking, by it's the way. Very sweet. This, is, this is pure, it's, it, just cock blocking. This is you very can hire sweet. Ten of Louis' relatives to build the wall if you want. <laughs> <laughs> that's a block that's perfectly acceptable. <laughs> this is really sweet. Yeah. Yeah. This is really sweet to see. We must really like Vinny because we're all dying. This is the most. <laughs> yeah. We're Look, dying to say. I and could do give awful a shit things. about Vinny. Oh, Brown. I don't care. I'm, <laughs> I'm just. Uh, I'm being honest. That's yeah. all. That's all I said. I'm only restraining myself for Jim's benefit because he seems to, you know, because he has. A, Fuck Jim Norton. A, yeah, no, but he has an about option. That. He has. <laughs> He's putting this girl in a very sweet light with a little bow in her hair and a whole, you know, skipping down the road with a lollipop. Yeah. But she likes uh, she likes the dirty well, Jim Norton. Right. right. No, it's very nice. It's a sweet thing. What was your favorite part of Jimmy's book? Um, was there one story that When stood he talked out? about his girlfriend and he wrote her that letter that he thought was, like, romantic for some reason, but it was basically saying how he wanted to kill her. And then he was really surprised when she was upset. <laughs> Yeah, pumpkin, a love story. <laughs> <laughs> That's definitely my favorite part. That's right. funny. All right. This is a mm. funny energy. Yeah, it's everybody's uh, being so nice. You like, have to be. We're very rarely we're pissed with everybody. It's I know. That's the thing about it. It's like, nice. and Jim's being nice. What do you want to say? And what's love? hanging in the air is that everybody wants to fuck her tits and do a blue. <laughs> I'm sorry. Wow, Lou. I guess Lou doesn't need the stress factor. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm doing a theater down the street. <laughs> I'm doing a theater down the street from there tonight, so he's oh, probably that's hurt the competition. Yeah, yeah. Right. Fuck that's him. smart. Shit about the stress factor. <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna hear a grovelly voice man lobbing Molotov cocktails. In the <laughs> Uh, Sorry. Uh, it's the Opie Anthony show. <laughs> what can I do? Should we uh, have her sit back down before yeah, I feel like it gets I'm ugly? ruining your show by making it pull. Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Bounce, 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 bounce. <laughs> really nice girl. Really nice girl. Yes. Why Very we, sweet. Why don't we take a break and uh, take care of these boners? Uh, uh, I wasn't sure if it would be a judgment error. <laughs> yeah. Introducing it, but I it was a really smart thing to do because all, all, we were all going like, "Who the fuck is that? All the time. <laughs> Who the fuck is that sitting there? And why is Jimmy picking out the Puerto Rican from Connecticut when she's sitting there?" <laughs> <laughs> she's sitting there. 
Well, no, but what he's saying is... <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, you have to... Ah, yeah. you know. uh, shit. <laughs> All right, we'll break and continue. Uh, State Theater tonight. New Brunswick, State New Theater, Jersey. New Brunswick. Brunswick. Louis. And do an unmasked. I think it, uh, I'm assuming a bunch of you guys are going unmasked today. Oh, good. Okay. Comics right here in New York, 14th and 9th Avenue at That's 1 right. o'clock with Louis C.K. It's Opie and Anthony. And a bunch of listeners just staring at us and hoping. Yeah! Yeah. Danny just worked the crowd. Danny, you want to grab a mic? Uh, Danny was working the crowd. and uh, we're my headphones? We're trying to see if... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Louie's got Anthony's headphones on. There you go. Louie's <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, Stay theater. I have ear aids. And, by the way, Louie, <laughs> there was a, there was yeah. a little, uh, little tension between you and Vinny's daughter. She kind of uh, oh, took she a made little, fun of me. She, she said, took a little uh, shot at you during the commercial right, break. Yeah. What did what, you say again? Let's hear that again. Oh, I just said good luck at the show tonight. <laughs> oh, I think he's a great nice. comedian. Oh, that's nice. Thank you. But you said you'd never seen him before. Oh, yeah, no. Actually, no, I've seen him at my club, but I, I was just teasing him. I said um, it's her he was, club like, plugging that he's mm. working at the State Theater, and I asked if he's working at the concession stand. That's right. Oh. Yes. She gave a little good... A good belt, right to a good stupid ribbon. redheaded balls. That's right. That's right. She's right. You, she said, my club, you're right, actually, eventually. You know, will, will be. Yep. Yeah, who knows? Your dad oh, retires. Yeah. <laughs> I hope you so. could do the phone bit mm. on the wall. That's right. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I want to buy the club, and then I want to just sit Vinny down and pour gas on the phone and set it on fire in front of him and go, now what? <laughs> and then sell it back to him. <laughs> <laughs> Danny, what do we got? Well, we have uh, a few different people with some interesting stories today. Mm -hmm. um, we do have... Uh, Where is he? I can't see him. I just hear a voice. Oh, Danny. Me. Oh, there you are. <laughs> I thought you were in the audience. Jesus. Oh, no, I've been back here for a while now. Lou thought it was magic. <laughs> is this Danny in Danny? <laughs> <laughs> it's magical. <laughs> Uh, we do have uh, one of Duffy's old high school teachers. What? And he says he has a story about Duffy. We also have a man who, as a child, uh, drank lighter fluid and took his grandfather's heart medication. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, we also have a gentleman who, in Korea, threw up on a hooker. You gotta go, Korea. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that man, gentleman's name is Dan. Wow. Oh, boy, this guy. I bet she threw up right back. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Jim. Yeah, welcome aboard, Dan. Yeah, yeah. Was, uh, <laughs> yeah. By the way, he has his ass right in front of the lovely. Uh, <laughs> yes, Danielle. please. Yeah. Yeah, please better. don't do that. Uh, he's a long. Dan's a big kid. He's got. He's kind of. Uh, he he's a little balding. He's got a big. Uh, what, what kind of beard? That's like a long. That's just a mess. A train wreck. <laughs> <laughs> All right. you, train look wreck. Like, you look like that old wrestler, uh, uh, Jim the Anvil Knight. There you go. Yeah, yeah. I've heard that a few times, huh? Sam, yeah. look who's in studio. <laughs> <today>. <laughs> Yes. Look, see my singlet? <laughs> it's Tony. <laughs> yeah. It looks like, oh, it looks like Tony was Tony the intern yeah. with a long beard. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, a little bit. That was Danny's joke. <laughs> That's true. All right. All right um, yeah, I was in Korea back in '95. Uh, Doing what? Uh, I was in the army. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. But you yeah. don't look that old. Thirty-three. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You know, I don't know, whatever. But yeah, yeah. Um, the town right outside of Post, like you, there's a bunch of bars on the main drag, and then there's an alleyway, and there's a lady there called Ajima. As you walk by, she's like, "Oh, you want pretty lady? You want pretty lady?" So it was my birthday, so <laughs> um, I'd been drinking a little bit, maybe, <laughs> and um, so my friends decide to uh, get me a short time girl for the night. Well, the short time girl, it's just you pay once, do your thing, and go. Um, I think mm -hmm. it was like 40 Instead bucks on... Instead of spending a, a lovely evening? Well, you, 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 you could get long-time girls. When I was sure. there, a short-time girl it was uh, $40 if it was a payday weekend. Yeah. Non-payday weekend, you could usually get them down to maybe like 20 25 mm -hmm. What's a long-term girl? Long-time girls all night. They're usually oh. about 200 bucks. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, so... Yeah. yeah. Tong Dushan, Korea, in case you're interested. <laughs> Is that North Korea? No, well, it's the northern part of South Korea. It's about... Uh, it's halfway between Seoul and the DMZ. Did right. you do a lot of vacationing and traveling in the northern part? I'm dying to go. Um, <laughs> I actually, a couple, I did go up to the DMZ, but that was more of a tourist thing. I, I'm, I'm not hard. How tourist. big is it? I know it, it, it's, uh, what, we have 15,000 troops there or something, or 1,500 troops compared to like 700,000 that the North Koreans have? Uh, I don't know what the numbers are, but we're way outnumbered. And like at Camp Casey, where I was, like it was a kind of 
my motor pool probably would have been destroyed before I got out of bed if there was a war starting. So Weird. the only thing that keeps the fucking North Koreans from deep dick in the South <laughs> is that little is that fucking demilitarized zone because they're afraid of starting a war with the U.S. Yeah, what will happen is if they start the war, all the roads there, south of Seoul, they have like roads like interstates, but north of Seoul, it's like you'll be going through a mountain, there'll be like two lanes will go down to one lane, like it for both <laughs> directions, and there'll be big boulders on top. So if the war starts, they set off charges to drop the boulders to block off all in the charge of the army, the coyote? Ridiculous. Fucking Kim Jong-il gets out of a box marked Acme Dictators. <laughs> <laughs> wow. But, uh, yeah, the, basically the... the well, I mean, this this is like 10 years ago, but from when I was there, it felt like the troops that were there were just more of like a speed bump, just to slow the north down long enough until we could get right. troops resupplied. It was, you yeah. know, yeah, what it, it, it wasn't... Good luck to you, yeah. Yeah, it was fun at uh, Christmas time when an American helicopter got shot down over North Korea. We had a... They called this out for a... In, it was like a Saturday. We had a long weekend, and everyone's in the barracks was stinking drunk. They come through, like, formation, come as you are. So we all go out, like... And her shower shoes carrying beers like what? Like, oh, a helicopter just got shot down on the other side of DMZ. Uh, so you might want to stop drinking. So, so when you not... puked on the hooker, what happened? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well, they started Thank asking tactical <laughs> stuff. Yeah, um, so why did the fucking thing get shot down? Was the guy got lost. Oh, and they yeah. shot him down. Yeah. They don't play, right? Yeah. So yeah. short time. What did the girl say to you again when she were? Well, well, it's Ajima. Ajima's like the old lady would be like. So you know, what did she say? She's like, oh, you want you walk by. She's like, oh, you want pretty lady. You want pretty lady. My and you know, like, by yeah. the way, she probably knows how to say, would you like a pretty lady? But she's like, they like it when you drop yeah, it's, the it's A. All bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's all fucking fake. You like pretty lady? And then she's like, this fellow wants a pretty lady. Let's get him one. But she know. fucking <laughs> she but then, knows he gets turned on by her illiterate, stupid fucking <laughs> Koreanness. Go ahead. So then they just they um <laughs> they. they take you down in the alley and they got these little like I mean it's like maybe like it's just like an alley and there's these doors mm. and you go into each you go into the room and it's like each one is probably about maybe a little bit bigger than like a garden shed and there's mm -hmm. just like a mattress on the floor awesome and <laughs> so you, you go in and um yeah so I you know you take your clothes off and you just start going and I was just basically stick your dick in a petri dish yeah <laughs> exactly hey you know <laughs> My barracks was right next to the medical clinic, so I wasn't too concerned. Sure. But, um, yeah. <laughs> Did you get anything? No, no. So, I, okay. I mean, it's been 10 years. I <clears throat> think I'd know by now. No, you wouldn't. <laughs> yeah. Korean AIDS is sneaky. <laughs> <laughs> you get it, and then it mails itself to you. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, so well, you yes, want to have AIDS? I want to have AIDS? <laughs> you like an HIV? <laughs> right, she, so was, she, was on, she was on top of me, and I was just kind of like laying there, and I wasn't feeling too good, so I, then I, like, I kind of like got on top. I was weighed a lot less then, so. <laughs> but um, then I was just kind of doing my thing, sort of, and it was sorta. okay. And then all of a sudden, I just ever see like when a dog just before it throws up, it starts like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like that's kind of what I was doing, and all of a sudden it just let loose, and basically like I had a nice spray pattern from like the top of the head down to like, the belly. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> Was she panicking when you started retching? Um, yeah, as she started screaming. Um, and the area where we were, they um, they had MPs patrolling the area, so she got up and she was screaming for the MPs. So I just like threw my pants on, put on my boots, and grabbed my jacket and ran out of there. And what made you throw up? I was hammered. Oh. I, I've been, it was my birthday, so I've been drinking basically all day. What a then, nice birthday. Yeah, <laughs> it's memorable. Puking on a Korean hooker in a garden shed. <laughs> so sweet. You'll you know never forget that one. You say it sarcastically, but God damn it. <laughs> yeah, you know. What wow. a gift that would be to give myself. <laughs> <That'd be> awesome. <laughs> wow. <laughs> She has, she has your American dick in her and vomit. She's looking at a rake off to the left. <laughs> That's great. All right, good story, man. Right. Good boy. Yeah. So, uh, you're a good boy. Thank you for your service to your country. Where's the, where's the teacher that has a Pat Duffy story? That'd be me. You're what? He's young. You look way too young you to look be his teaching age. Pat Duffy. I'm 35. Wow. Well, yeah, well, that's young to be a teacher of that fella. Yeah. <laughs> How old were you when you taught Pat? You graduated, what, four years ago? Five. Five years ago, yes. Mm. From what? So I, I had him. High school? High school, high school all okay. through high school, yeah. Wow. So you but you were his uh, gym instructor? <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> I taught uh, TV and video production. I still do. Mm -hmm. oh, why did I think you, I'm sorry, I thought you were 
Oh, right. I'm very physically fit. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> Who doesn't know that? So right. what happened? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he taught something about transvestites. Yeah. He showed up at my house one night. It was his senior year, and he showed up at my house. Uh, and I live, I live about 30, 35 minutes away from the school, so he, he and a buddy had showed up at my house. It's like a Friday night, like 8, 8 9 o'clock at night. And I still, to this day, have no idea why he came to the door. To film you through your window. Is that what it was? Yes. <laughs> To, and then to show you later on in school, it'd be like, hey, look, we went to your house, but you caught us. What are you, well, a fucking he, David Lynch movie? Yeah. <laughs> it was exactly. for our projects, and we wanted to film him behind his back and then show it in class and be like, hey, we were at your house. What was the project? Uh, we were, oh, it was just, it was up to anybody. We were making, we were up to your discretion. But we How were, to quietly oh. shoot somebody from the shrubs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, really, that's what it was. Really. It was like, uh, we were, we were doing dream sequences, and one of my one of my partner's dreams was to kill him. So we went oh. to his house. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> Nice. Wow. I could probably get an A on it. But yeah. better a dream than a masturbatory fantasy. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it turns into. <laughs> I, wow. I told the guys to leave and, and we wouldn't. No. How'd you know they were there? Did you guys you guys ring the doorbell or did I see you out there? No, we saw your parents. <laughs> yeah, I had some people over. <laughs> some people, your parents. Wait, you were a yeah. teacher yeah. living with your parents? No, no, no. I was at my apartment, I had my parents, my brother was in town, oh, okay. so we were Hanging out, having a couple beers. And so basically, the parents were there, and you're like, "Hi, we're we're uh, we, well, students." My, we actually ran out of the alley with the camera, and we were like, "Are you related to Mr. Brant?" Are you? And he was like, "Oh, I'm his dad." So then we started screaming, "Daddy Brant's in town!" And we were just <laughs> we were yelling at him. They, yeah, they they followed him. Yeah. Oh yeah, he was going to get pizza, and we followed him all the way down the block. They were just here to film your son because he dreamt that he killed him. <laughs> oh, uh, oh, I see. Okay, carry on. Have yeah. fun. You and your big calves. Oh, they're awesome. Jesus. <laughs> You're jealous. Uh, <laughs> you're jealous. No, That's Jimmy's terrific. got good calves. Believe me, they call me the fucking calf kid. <laughs> <laughs> so it was a few years ago, he he actually came back to school. Is, is he ever talked about being a pathological liar? Oh, what the fuck! <laughs> oh, now we're getting some. <laughs> Yeah. No, let's get to the bottom uh, of this. All right, long story short, I went to uh, I went to the high school and I was like, Mr. Oh, Brandt. Oh, shit. <laughs> no, I, I just made, I used to make up all kinds of stuff all the time. Like, I would never, ever tell the truth. Really, Why? ever. I just didn't. Let me ask you, as a pathological lie, when you're telling one of those lies, yes. and this is true, what are you thinking as you're telling it? You believe the lie. You do? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, you're just saying it like it was, you're, like, like you're describing a movie, but it's really your life and yeah. you kind of mean it. Okay. Yeah. I you really believe it? I used to, I used to. I used to do it all the time. Oh, fuck that. I, fuck, I, I pulled that shit until right. I got arrested and charged with something that I hadn't done, and I had to go before a judge and explain that I fucking made something up. What was it, Jimmy? Can I you... lied. Just now. Ted's a liar. What was one of these lies, Pat? Uh... Uh, e e everything. Anything and everything. Like, like what? Why? Give us one. Or does the teacher have one? You got to remember when he did. at that at that time he 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 told me that he had previously gotten a computer which he oh yeah 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 I told him that because he's a video teacher and we were talking about video stuff and I was like oh yeah I got the new uh, Apple MacBook Pro it's, it's awesome I got OS 10.2 and all this other stuff I didn't have it at all what a dick yeah I know <laughs> no but the worst part is he goes oh if I knew you had all that stuff I would have just given you one of the old ones. One of the old computers, so you I just see? fucked myself you out see? of the computer. Ah, right. yeah. You see when yeah. you lie what happens? That's right. When Pat. he came back and he fessed up, and I ended up giving one of the old computers. Thank Aww. you. <laughs> Pat, what's your you deal? Were you touch, touch funny as a kid? Where no. does all this come from? <laughs> no, I'm just really angry all the time. Why are you angry? I don't know. I just... no Where does this come from? <laughs> His dad liked to shave while he was in the tub. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of which, where's Patty? Is she here yet? Jimmy hasn't heard this story yet. I have not. Stoker Patty should be here any moment. Yes. <laughs> They're walking her so, here. So, wait a minute. He would lie a lot. What was the lie you caught him in? Well, he came back and fessed up on yeah. the I didn't know he was a liar. He tells me he was a pathological liar. I don't know whether to believe him or not. Yeah, but the computer story, <laughs> no offense, is kind of whatever. Yeah. We need a good one. Like, you're, like, were you ever late and they said, what were you doing? And you decided to rescue Lois Lane? Yeah. <laughs> yeah I mean, I never really got caught in a lie with him or anybody in school. It's just like... What was the best lie you ever told? Hey, yeah. Oh, oh. I don't know. If Worst one you ever got caught in. Um, Worst one you ever. I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> um, I don't know off the top of my head. Just give me a second. How about just one that you told that you're like, why did I just say that? I don't know. My dad's listening right now. He's probably got a million that he could tell. But yeah, we. I haven't. I've. I, I, we try to ignore him when he calls us. I try to, to ignore him in life yeah. as well. 
<laughs> Can't tell you how many times he's been on the phone and we just don't go to Good. him. Good. Don't ever. He sucks balls. <laughs> Come on, one lie. I, d I have nothing. I'm terrible. Mm. Come on, you remember one. Something you told a girl to impress her. Oh, my penis is huge. <laughs> She's going to find that out, though. Where's a stupid lie? Mm. Yeah. Either that or you have to buy a much smaller home. <laughs> or if you're a really good liar and you're showing it to her. All right, I'm just making a relative comparison joke. Like, look, yeah. his cock is half the size of the couch. <laughs> so. Sometimes a little titter with an explanation. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so come on, what was what you told me? Yes. All right, so, oh. Patty's here. Oh, I get Patty. Oh. All right, Stalker Patty, uh, come to the front of the class. Oh, yeah. Hey, Stalker asked for it. Get in here. <laughs> <laughs> stalker cock tease. <laughs> Come on now. Oh, Ladies and gentlemen, oh uh, Stalker there you go, Patty. Patty. Here she oh, comes. she's wearing shorts for fuck's sake. Patty. Yes. Patty? Wow. You're a little knock kneed, Patty. You're a little knock kneed. Hi. Hi. Oh, my I just got off work 20 minutes ago and ran here. That's true. All right, Patty. Are you, what are you doing? Are you a model oh. for Sloan Kettering? <laughs> oh, shit. I don't understand that. That's a good one, Jimmy. <laughs> What's Sloan Kettering? I don't know what that uh, is. Thank you. It's, it's a really? cancer place, baby. Oh, cancer yeah. hospital. Yeah. I love you, too. To uh, really, uh, you know, uh, nail the job. Uh, uh, oh, Patty, oh, she oh, looks oh, like she's improv. dying. Let's look at Patty's improv. Oh, yeah, yeah. She's got an ashen face of death. <laughs> and it's funny. Out there in Radio yeah. Land. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy, talk to Lily for a second. Um, well, Just babble. The thing is that we have to... But babble away from the mic so that he can... The beauty of Patty is listening to her improv skills. Patty? Yes. Sorry I said that. Yeah. Jimmy, get... You can rip me back. I didn't mean to tease you. Yeah, give him a rip back. Nice socks. Okay. I'm not good at uh, things off the top of my head, but when, I'll think of something later on. <laughs> hey, Patty. That's usually how it happens. Patty, here's the deal. Uh, last week you admitted when Jimmy was gone, or was that earlier this week? I don't know. We lost yeah, track of time. Uh, uh, that yeah, that you uh, had some weird things happening to you when you were in your foster home. Tell the tell the uh, the. The, the bathtub story to Jimmy. Yeah, when I was 14, 15, 16 years old, developed a teenager. <laughs> when I was 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 25, 38. She's like an auctioneer. He must be that five. What the fuck? And my foster father would just walk foster in nonchalantly father. and start mm. doing things like shaving and stuff. While you were in the like tub? While I was in the tub. At and a very advanced age of puberty. Was he shaving his face? Yeah. <laughs> and he would say, What to you, Patty? Tell Jimmy. Uh, I would say, Dad, please. I, I, I don't want you in here while I'm here. He would say, Ah, uh, oh, you're just a child. You, I, you, I diapered your heiner when you were little. And this your and heiner? That. <laughs> but it doesn't make a difference anymore now. I'm 16. I'm not 16 months. Yeah, but what you got to understand. <laughs> <laughs> Is that when you put diapers on, you get attached to it. <laughs> you want to see how much bigger it gets? <laughs> <laughs> God. God damn it! So, so this would go on, and also you told us that when you went like to your aunt's house, you had to sleep with your dad on the couch. Yeah, they would make me sleep on the couch with him when I wanted to be by myself or what? have my own area. But Why they didn't believe in that? I, again, I was just a little girl, and that was Wait, it. Patty, who who would you go with? Your mom, your step, your step mom, your stepdad, your foster my mom, from... foster father, oh, and Jesus. then my brother had to sleep with her. God Wait. damn it, this woman's voice. Why would your oh, brother? Know, right? <laughs> the thing is, here's Patty's curse: is that you can't have sympathy because of the voice. You just can't. <laughs> yeah, I mean, even if she'd reported, if she went to the police, I'm being molested. They'd be like, "Shut up! Shut up! <laughs> Get out of here!" He's right. No sense. Tell us the complaint. Don't make us hear this. Oh. Yeah, children were seen and not heard. That's, oh. Yes, that's what I meant. Thank God. I bet the first time he shoved his dick in your mouth just to shut you up. <laughs> it started out to, for legitimate purposes. It's all purposes. he had. He would have used a, a gassy rag, but he had his dick. <laughs> <laughs> so it's the best he could do. So, Patty, how old were you when this was happening? 15, 16, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Teenager. All right, and how old was your brother? 
He was 11 months younger than me. All right, so bit, why round it off to a year? <laughs> um, <laughs> critical difference. How many hours? Oh, oh, why I round it off? Hours. <laughs> why round it off? Uh, <laughs> You'd get the wrong impression if she uh, said a year. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. She needed more syllables. Yeah. So wait. You, uh, he would sleep with your mother? Yes, he would. Why not have your mom and you and the bro? Oh, I don't get it. I don't know why. I guess, uh, you see, you would think that, because that would be more normal. That would be so non rapey I didn't know what yeah. they were thinking. <laughs> I had no idea what they Boy, were they really thinking. they really fouled that up. Yeah. That was silly of them. Yeah. So, wait, you, you, you and your dad on the couch. Now, was it a sofa bed or was it just a sofa with cushions? It was just the regular couch. Really big enough for one adult, but a child that could squeeze in there. <laughs> Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. And I'm sure he did, too. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't very comfortable, and I didn't oh. feel comfortable. Of course no, not. No. So what happened, no. Patty? You, how would you sleep? What position? He would be on his side, and you would be... Would you be face to feet, or how would you be? I would be on the side facing away. Sure, yeah, yeah thinking of cotton yeah. candy and... He also and stunk, face. too, because he smoked a lot of cigars, and that made him stink. Yeah. So his like, breath stunk? Take it. Yeah. Were, you, yeah. were you face to face? No, no facing I away. was away. She was, he was spooning her. How was he facing? <laughs> right? I don't, I don't know what was going on while I was sleeping. I, I have no know. idea. I I know. Know. Goodness you, gracious. You do, you do know. What now? <laughs> That's you, what we're getting at. You're Patty. facing away. Yeah. He's behind you. Yeah. Now is he facing away from you, or is he facing the same direction you are? He was face. He was on his back mm. mostly, and he was a snorer. And oh, his arm, goodness. his left arm, would be under his head while he that was. That was to cover up the crying. <laughs> so, um, when did he first? <laughs> kind shut of... up. <laughs> Stop. Shut up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> When did he first, uh, I'm sure at times he would roll over and face the same direction you did. If he did, I wouldn't know it because I was asleep. I'm sure you wouldn't have felt anything, but probably, you probably, you, not. probably not. But you must have remembered a couple of times where you could feel that cigar breath on the side of your face. And, and the cigar, too, and by the way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All I know is that when he put his arm across my shoulder or my stomach, I would want to pull away. I didn't oh, enjoy that. Oh, he so he, he would put his arm across your he stomach like he, was, that, he yeah, would hold you? Like, oh, my God. I would try to go like this to get his hand off and what my stomach because oh, I didn't like Jesus. that kind of handling. Yeah, of I course wasn't not. a hugger or going around, you know, whatever. Oh, like that, yeah. you know? I hate the huggers. Yeah. I'm yeah. not a hugger. You know, my friend, my friend, <laughs> my friend loves him. I'm like, you dumb hugger lover, get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> my sister brought a hugger home one time. Oh, <laughs> forget about it. Man. So, I, so, uh, <laughs> freaking gold tooth hugger. <laughs> so, Patty, hold on. You would feel him. Now, when he put his arm across your shoulders. Yeah, he would. You would feel, obviously, you would feel it on the front of your chest. But how long would it be there for? I don't know. All I know is that I was, I was used to going to sleep early, so I would just fall asleep almost instantly. And what would wake like you up it... sometimes? What would wake <laughs> you up? His snoring. Other things. Or maybe if he put his hand too close to my side or something, I would start. Oh, like when he was, oh, he was yeah. fondling like know. a madman. When he would touch your stomach, you'd yeah. probably feel him pull back a little bit. Like you probably, you, you, did you think he was trying to keep you from falling off the couch? Maybe uh, I don't yeah. know. <laughs> it was but, considerate. You know, I wasn't sure. <laughs> but you felt him pressing up against you right, from behind. Yeah, and I felt that that was a little invasive. Did you feel him light. pressing up against you from behind? Like you felt his erection, <laughs> you didn't like it. I don't remember his erection. I didn't, you know. What were you wearing to bed? Uh, just my pajamas. What were they? Oh, my flannels. Pa pajamas. Pajamas, you know, just flannels. You yeah. Know. Jesus. With the and fucking they would have cute little, little round trap on door on the back. Stuff like that. Little fucking <laughs> glory hole pajamas <laughs> in the back. <laughs> she said they have cute little hearts on, so would he. <laughs> <laughs> did he ever did he, did he ever slide your little pajama by, or, I, I, when, oh, when he touched your stomach, would he ever put his hand up the shirt a little bit more than you liked? Uh, he didn't put his hand under my clothes. No, I don't remember him ever doing don't that. Don't remember. Yeah. Was he ever naked in front of you? What? Was he ever naked in front of you? While shaving or something. Yeah. 
Well, you know, they had this habit keeping the bathroom door open, so I would walk in by accident and not know he was in there and then see him going to the bathroom, and I would run out, you know. What would he say to you? Big, beautiful cock. Nothing. <laughs> I wouldn't say anything. No, i just walk in and run out. That's inappropriate. You should keep the door closed at all times. Well, easy with those tough stances. <laughs> you know. This kid takes social risks. Now, Jimmy, I asked... No shitting in front of the children. <laughs> oh, bumper uh, sticker. Jimmy, I asked Patty to uh, take a few days to come up with some more stories. Do you have any that you remember? Yeah, I have a few that I do remember. Something right. that they never told me that I know happened. It had to have happened. But I have a memory when I was three of a nasty, awful leg injury. I don't know where it came from. I remember being held a lot and carried because I couldn't walk on the leg. And to this day, nobody will tell me, but I have a scar right there, and nobody told me where it came from. And I tried to ask him many times, Jesus. and I never got an answer. Did you get caught in a Grace. trap? She's got a <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. I was maybe about two or three when it happened, so I don't remember was, it, but this I know is, something Okay, so happens. she's got casual memories yeah. of being molested, yeah. yet... <laughs> Repressed memory of hurting her fucking leg. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like that, but she can't. I didn't that's just dug in deep. It might be a change. But the, oh, by the way, the fella pressed his fucking yeah. dick into my know. ass. Nice. Right, what else? What else, Pat? Oh, I remember. Uh, oh God. Th th oh, my mother. My natural mother had a mental illness, and she was hospitalized. That's why she had to give me up. You know. Well, she left you at a diner. Yes, yeah, she, she did. Yeah. She, she, she got she hospitalized some pie before she left. <laughs> she gave you, you know, she'll leave you with some cherry pie at least. She couldn't take it anymore, so I guess with a baby. So she put me in a basket and dressed me up to the nines, you know, the, like really to the nines. Me, and put me on the one counter of the uh, downtowner's what restaurant. What goes well with a basket that she dressed you to <laughs> exactly. the nine? You're a fucking infant like in a you're, basket. If you were wearing a drab outfit, people would have been like, yeah, I'll leave her in the basket. Yeah, fuck her. Uh, they said right. I this had baby on a pink dress, dress nice socks, her. black and white, uh, a beautiful Wait, pink what and what white blanket. Wait a minute, what was the diner? What was the diner? Downtowner's Restaurant. Where? Downtown at One Trinity Place. It's not Where? there anymore. I went back to look for it. Of course not. Oh. Who would eat there after that? Yeah. <laughs> Someone left shit on the counter. Which is another thing, too. <laughs> <laughs> I've been trying to find oh, out. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Now, I've been trying God to find out. Fucking the damn it in the ass. <laughs> I I've been it. trying to find out the circumstances with yeah. that, and I'm trying to yeah. look for right. a police right, Patty, report what, on it. Yeah, we we'll police report. Unlock everything we want more stories about your dad. Your There's no great. police report. Yeah. Check the ASPCA. <laughs> 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 we want more dad stories. Uh, we want the dad stories, oh, here, Patty. When I went to the high school dance, he had to come with me. He would make me wait outside the dance hall, or the church hall where it was. Damn. He went in, looked yeah. around, cased and questioned people, mm. embarrassing the hell out of what me. What did he ask them? And I don't know. I, he made me stand outside, and if I came in, he would almost slap me across the face. Mm. You know? What did he ask them? Yeah, what was he I wish them? I know. I don't know. Was he, he just preparing them for your entrance, like saying, will you be bothered? <laughs> please. No, probably, <laughs> please please don't. Probably what time is he this going to be over? He said, please don't dump pig's blood on her head. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> please, not like last year. Four years in a row, you've dumped pig's blood on her head. Exactly. And you find another way to have your fun. Don't stare at her probably. mandibles. <laughs> <laughs> what time, it, well, how late are you going to go, and this and that, what kind mm. of music's playing, and all that. And then he would allow me to come in. At that point, I would practically run away to get lost in the crowd so I could just get away from him. Right. And I didn't see any other fathers there checking anything out, you so were, I didn't understand what that was about. Yeah, what you were was creeped that out about? by this guy. Yeah, I was. I was. He was a little bit too possessive. Mm. You know, one time he was going to go shopping, you know, and uh, with my foster mother. Yeah, and uh, yeah. I had a horrific argument with him. I was 17 years old. Mm. And he yelled and screamed at me that I had to go, but I wanted to go to my friend's house, which is more normal. We were doing a science project together, and I oh, wanted to go there. Let's not gloss over that. Um. <laughs> but, <it's, laughs> but anyway... Well, hold on, Patty. Hold on. <laughs> Your friend. What, were you, what, were, what was the science project? Yeah. I don't remember. Something about animals or something. We had yeah. to go to a museum and write about dinosaurs or something. I don't remember. Mm. 
but okay. the thing is, we got a phone call in the middle of the argument, uh, and it was the volcano. Mini Maggie or Maxi or the Mini <laughs> the skirt at the time, so She's they babbles. were asking for my opinion. He grabbed sh- the phone here and says, there is nobody here but a man and a little girl, and he banged the phone down. Yeah. At that point, I had... I don't know what she's talking I about. I ran anymore. out of the place <laughs> crying. I ran to this my friend's house. I refused to come home for hours. <laughs> just this is just a, like and a bird making a noise in a tree now. Either, which was surprising. <laughs> no idea. What so, that. Patty, did you want to answer the miniskirt question? What? Did you want to answer the miniskirt question? <laughs> the what? miniskirt? On the yeah, phone. I did. What did you want to say about the it? the mini. Obviously. <laughs> the, I don't know. The mini or the midi? The mini. You liked a mini skirt, you yes, little I did. fucking whore. <laughs> That's nice. In fact, uh, when I saw the the movie Hair when I was older that came out in '79, mm, yeah, I remember 79. envying those kids that were going to Vietnam children. and being killed. <laughs> no, being on the hill and holding up anti-war signs oh, and nice. flower wow, children. Yeah. I wanted to be them. Maybe because uh, I wanted to be free. Yeah. Well, I worry, why Maybe you be did want to be from free from the sexual abuse. Let, let's go to Anthony in Virginia. He's got an idea for you, Patty. Anthony, what's up? Yeah, does uh, Patty even know if she, when she's getting a thermometer checked, uh, can we get a doctor in there to see if she has her hymen? intact because I think she probably thought she was getting a temperature or something and her father was just leaving her. All right, that's a very good point. Some guy with the worst voice I've ever heard <laughs> said that perhaps we should get you checked to see if you have your hymen. <laughs> Do you still have your hymen? Every time I go to a gynecologist, they can't complete the exam because they say I'm too tight and it's very painful. <laughs> it's if painful I do go for, to one, I want to be them? put out. <laughs> That's the only way they can examine it is to put me out. There's no way I can stay right. conscious. Everybody in your life is lying to you. Do you understand that? <laughs> yeah. Jesus. Patty, I'm going to have to put you out because yeah. you're just yeah. too tight. That's the only way they usually can do it. Usually when they wake up feeling usually a little Usually when strange. a girl talks about how tight her pussy is, you get a lot of, oh, it's wow. Uh, <laughs> Only pussy you don't want to be tight. That is no. not hot. That was All I know is that they told me that if I ever had Patty, sex wait. or, you know. Her pussy is like a, a fetus's ear. <laughs> no, not oh really, no. No, no really? Oh, like I thought ones. Jimmy was being serious. I, I'm sorry, Patty. Patty, do you Excellent still improv. get your period? Not anymore. It All stopped right. when I hit 50. Of course it did. Yeah. You and hit 50 like a fucking freight train. <laughs> <laughs> and, and before that, did you use a tampon or a pad? I preferred a tampon. It was easier. <laughs> Why? And, and was Why? it a problem easier putting it in? Throw it away. No, was it I had a... no problem putting it in. I had a nurse show me how when I was at college. <laughs> <laughs> and the other girl... The other girls would throw them out of going, plug it up, plug, plug it, it up, plug it up, plug it up. What is he Scary, carry, scary, carry. Oh. <laughs> Hold on, in college, what did you do for the seven years prior to that? Oh, wow, good one. What, was everybody missing socks Just around the house? <laughs> no, they made me wear the old-fashioned Kotex, whatever. People found it like a shot beer. <laughs> Trailed her. Yeah. Oh, and then they God. wanted me to wear she was a belt so too. Sharks were actually walking on land to follow. Her. <laughs> <laughs> I remember. Hold my, on, hold on. You missed oh that. God. Patty said that she had to wear a belt. Yeah, wow. my foster mother made me put on a belt for it. What's, what's uh, the belt for it? No, the old, up the fucking in, rag that keeps the <laughs> cunt blood from dropping. <laughs> <in the floor. laughs> That is real old school. How yeah. would it go on? It was, late, it was only 14 years All right. old. Patty, how would it go on? How would the belt go on? You know, it's just like uh, underneath me, and then uh, you buckle it, and it would stay on. Is it like a sumo wrestler's thing? It looks like that. Yeah, right? yeah, like the, the pad, the Kotex would clip onto the belt, right? It's yeah. like a Front diaper. and back. Yeah. yeah. So you wear on like a diaper. Tough. Jesus oh, Christ. Damn it. And a belt. Yeah. So this. Then you could just fucking bleed like a Civil War veteran. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking tourniquet around your cunt lips. Your mic isn't working, Patty. Your mic's not working. Don't waste that gold. It's act of God. Yeah, God doesn't want to hear either. Go ahead, Patty. Yeah. 
<laughs> so you put that for, so from the time you first got your period when? I was from 14. <laughs> At 14 years old? Yeah. Uh, when, and what was the first one like? Did you have to talk to your uh, foster mother or what did you do? Well, yeah, you know what? Exactly three weeks before I got it the first time, then she takes me aside and says, you're going to be sick next month or the month after That's you're gonna sick. this is gonna happen you, you know like uh, and something she about say? being sick and getting pains and i'm like but what's that about and then you're gonna bleed what but she wouldn't explain anything about it she wouldn't tell I you went, where you were gonna bleed from how does that cotton in every fucking <laughs> hole in her body <laughs> Patty, discuss with your daughter but she's not how did she tell you did she say uh that thing between your legs did you see LaMotta after the Ray Robinson fight? <laughs> <laughs> she just called me out into the other room and oh, just, just stood me there and told me. She didn't Good. tell you that your vagina would be bleeding? No. She just she said you're going to bleed and get cramps and you're going to be sick. Mm. Yeah, that's all she explained it. That's and nice. sure enough, I had the worst awful cramps the first three years that I had it. That to the point where she would make a hot toddy, which was uh, <laughs> hot milk and brandy sweetened with about ten sugars, and then make me drink it, and it would put me out. And delivered oh. via cigar mouth. <laughs> yeah. A yeah. hot toddy. Yeah, daddy, yeah. daddy would just put it in his mouth and go. <laughs> right out to the problem area. An old I was hot toddy. Because they make me think the Lord was going to strike me dead. And oh, stuff the like Lord. That. What? Yeah, that Lord. A Doom and gloom over it. Oh, were they the religious Lord. people? They were very Catholic. How long did you live with these fucking shit piles? Since I was 16 <laughs> months old until 19 when I was happy to go to college and I preferred to stay on campus. How old were, they, how old were you when they fucking mercifully died? <laughs> when I was 20, she was 69, and then he died about 15 years later. Did you have a relationship with him at the end? No, I didn't even go home. To you hated him, him, right? I couldn't stand them. Why? Because uh, he fucked her. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that he went all the way. Did he ever put? Did he? Oh. I, I, tell me what. I know you remember. When when did he take your hand and put it on his penis? Mm. I don't remember him ever doing that. I don't I remember. Do, no, he didn't go that far at all. Where did he go? Did he put it on your breasts? Did where he did, touch where, your where, breasts a little bit? No, just like I guess a side glances while I was in the tub and stuff. That's Ugh. basically it. Just looking, you mean? Yeah. The ghoul. Yeah. <laughs> and Louis Louis got to go jerk off after this. <laughs> Fucking. Yeah. There he goes. <laughs> Her panties look like they're fucking great outside of Abigail Folger's house. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Fuck. <laughs> We're getting uh, Patty a hypnotist. That's great. We're gonna put you under, Patty. We're gonna find some shit out for you. So, so she didn't say when you'd where you'd be bleeding from. So no. when you started bleeding, what did you do? Mommy, look what's in my pants. Oh, my God. Well, you know, I got scared. She called the Opie and Anthony show. <laughs> you know. And Looked like Reginald said, Denny's head. And then she <laughs> gave me a protest and said, oh here, God. put that on. And, uh, put it on? She didn't tell you how or anything? She wore like a yeah. hat. <laughs> put, it, put it on. Put fucking she daisy on it. it Looked like, like Laura Ingalls' bonnet. <laughs> Had ketchup on it. <laughs> Why is the retarded girl wearing a Japanese flag on her head? Holy <laughs> shit. Fucking Patty. Wow. So, so, so you had no, you had no clue why you were bleeding. Not and she just time. gave you a Kotex? She didn't explain to you further? No, what... but when I went to the library to take a book out on it, well, now I had a younger brother at the time, and he was just yeah. me as messed up as they were. He would take the book and show it to them, and they would end up punishing me, and they would hide the book. So what, what book is this? It, what it book? was a medical book on getting your period, becoming a woman. It was a normal book. It was from the library. They and I was, they would not up. allow me to read those they things. They wouldn't I let you read it. I'm the sneak to learn how. I'm the sneak. I'm the sneak. Oh. Just to learn about it. That's what your dad it. was doing. Doing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know what the way of learning it. So you know, what, your brother now, wait, you know, what happened to your brother? I don't know whatever happened to him, but I hated him too because he oh, would boy. punch me and give me bruises on my arm. I would show it to was my he, foster he was, parents he, and if I hit him back, I got hit by them. 
He no. wasn't your biological brother then. He was. He just was my father. biological brother. Oh, he was. Brother. So you don't know oh, he, he was. Special problems. Oh yeah. Special what was problems. wrong with this? Yeah, he was born with my mother's schizophrenia, which is why he saw shadows on the wall coming to light that I couldn't see. Mm. And he kept them up. And that was, was daddy. That was daddy. Yeah. 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 She <laughs> could be the most fucked up individual. No kidding. Yeah. Yeah. So wait, sure. your mother had schizophrenia. Yeah, my natural mother. Yeah, yeah, and and your your natural. So your mom gave up you you and your brother to the same people. Yeah, to okay. the same people. And and how many years since you seen your brother? Right now, it's been about fourteen, fifteen years. I kind of fear him because of his illness. You know, he used to be very violent when he was younger. Yeah. He would hit me. I'd have bruises from him. I know him you said that. Where is child. he? Where is he now? He's holding the mic right there. Yes. It's <laughs> Duffy, this violent motherfucker. I was just thinking of a very similar problem. Yeah. <laughs> Where is he now, Pat? Some, living somewhere in the city or Staten Island or Brooklyn. I don't know which one. Oh, the last good. address was Staten on Island, Staten Island. Brooklyn. Why don't you just say Queens also? Yeah, you forgot yeah, Island. Island. He could boroughs. be anywhere. Do you have any family at all that you nope. that you are with, like that you know that you know or nobody? Nobody. No. Oh, I you ain't got nobody. No. <laughs> do you have any friends or anything? Like, who do you spend most of your time with? Or who do you talk to every day? Is there anybody that you talk to every day? Her people cats. at work. People at work. One or two people in the building, like my neighbor across the so hall. So nobody that actually wants to <laughs> <laughs> Nobody that invites the, just I, people I that you talk people. to because they're near you. The question would be, <laughs> what, what, the back of whose head do you talk to the most? <laughs> As they're walking away. <laughs> Who takes a really deep breath when you walk up to say hello? <laughs> Like oh, I said, the people hi, I see. Patty. <laughs> <laughs> the people I see every day are the people at work, and they love right. me. <laughs> That's oh, great. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. What did your last period? What was that like? None of none of them. It, it was came, not remarkable. And it went, and that was it. What happened? It came and it went. So was I, it? I have not gotten any other symptoms or anything. No, was it? Was it? Could you tell though? Were you like, oh, this has got to be the end of the tank? Well, this <laughs> is yeah. There was, there was some like sediment in it. Yeah. 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 It had grinds like fucking <laughs> Sunoco <Sinoco> coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Going on. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you, d you didn't know? The I know. It's amazing. You really do have. You have the timing of a fucking of a fucking rhino. Yeah. You just like, <laughs> like you, here's what you have to do. Like when you see people laughing, you hear them laughing. You pause for a second. Just wait yeah. Out. But you like, um, out. yeah. No. Let them. Uh, yeah, get the laughter out. Because nobody hears half what you're saying. I'm not trying to shit on you, but nobody hears I half am. what you're saying. Yeah. Fucking retard. Father <laughs> was. <laughs> Jesus. Patty. I'm going to do my impression of you. I want you to see. Okay. Uh, Louis say something in the crowd. Uh, we'll laugh. Okay. Uh, uh, now you put pressure on me to get. Yeah, that's a lot of pressure. I then I was going to come back down with the mate told me that five the club. My father was cool. So I had bruises all over. <laughs> Heavens to Murgatry. <laughs> but if you pause, people will hear what you're saying. Yeah, like. Patty. Yeah. When's the hypnotist uh, coming in? When is uh, we're tentatively scheduled for uh, the the 14th or the 12th, the Friday after the 4th. A week from the 4th. Have All you right. been hypnotized before, Patty? Never. You think you'll uh, go under? I don't know. I've never been hypnotized. It, we'll have to see. It can't be one of those wacky hypnotists that, you know, no, no, make it, you do wacky things. It's got to be like guy. one of those well, hypnotists that can hypnotize hypnotist. you and then really kind of no, the get, get in there. and The Ron Fez guy. He's yeah, he, I mean, he head. does that stuff, too, but he's, he's the real good. deal. He's definitely the real deal. Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah. I'm open to it. And you're willing to... Uh... Yeah, I'm open-minded. Are you? Yeah, I'm very no, fascinated not. by that kind of thing. And this has fucked up her sexuality yep. for her whole life. Yeah. She will not be with a man. She's a virgin. Oh, you can see from all that's happened to her. Yeah. That she's got to be. She's got to protect herself. She um. She I mean, would withdraw like and this wince. Was... Yeah. I mean, yeah. don't get me wrong. I've always wanted to have a serious relationship with somebody. <sighs> just that I, you know, I guess you know. <laughs> she's actually yeah, doing pretty I, well I, considering her you know, background. Mm. On Left on it. Shut up. <laughs> Kind of fucking say something positive about you. <laughs> trying to say something positive about you. Now, why, Louis, why would you yell at Jake Johansson like that? <laughs> I don't know why I'm so mad at, at Hitler if he did, if he'd survived. <laughs> she kind of looks like an old Hitler. <laughs> 
<laughs> he shaved. Look, I just think that, look, she was left on a diner counter for fuck's sake. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Raised by a couple of fucking Animals. creeps. Yep. Schizophrenic mom and brother. Mm -hmm. uh, some nurse shoved a tampon up her <laughs> fucking pussy. And she's doing pretty well, considering. Yeah. <laughs> I think, seriously, I think she's, well. got, she's got a positive attitude. Yeah. Uh, she's doing terrific. She's got a positive attitude. She feels love from people at her work, and she mm. likes coming here and sharing her life with us. She's all right. I yeah. like Patty. Here's the thing. Let me, let me just correct you. Um, she She's misreading their hatred at work, and she's never had a <laughs> no, dick No, but that's her. it. That's fine. <laughs> yes, that's all true, but she's got a positive attitude considering. Hey, Patty. Pete, she goes to work, and people literally go, ugh. And she yeah. says, they love me there. Nah, but you have, and I think that that's a testament to her positive it, attitude. It is, but no, and I don't mean this in a real but this, this, this shit heap. <laughs> I'm kidding, Patty. <laughs> <laughs> no, none taken. Uh, Patty, how did the nurse show you the tampon? Like, did she put it in you, or did she show you with she something it. else? She just went with hand motion. She made her do a hand. She made her do a handstand and then threw it like a javelin. <laughs> <laughs> Place in cunt, light fuse, get away. Yeah. She showed me on a chart where. A chart, a chart. Yeah, she showed me a photo. And then it goes here, and then she went like that with the motion, the correct motion. She said, you slip it in there. And did you have trouble the first time you tried to put it in? Of course I did. And what happened the first time? It was painful the first two times after that. Did you get it in deep enough? Yeah, you probably, because I could picture you just putting the tip in and fucking cotton's hanging out. Of it. It's hanging out like a cigar. <laughs> yeah, but I was okay after the third month of doing it. Third month. It took you three months to figure out how to shove a fucking tampon in. It took her three months before she figured out she had to take the first one out. <laughs> <laughs> What, did, did you tell the nurse, so I got to stab it three times? <laughs> I just thanked her and said, if I have I'll any questions, this. I'll call you. I didn't have any questions. So I no. kind of learned on my own. Yeah. yeah. I bet you did, though. You didn't put it in far enough the first time. Right. Because mm. you were hurt. It Was it painful? Yeah, the first time. Was it a little exciting, though? Like Were you like kind of like, ooh, I'm putting something in my pussy? Yeah, the thing I liked best was the convenience. You any question you want to answer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Forget yeah. the one. I asked. And yeah. I like the convenience. Great. Right. All right, 7 Eleven cunt. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone else getting the feeling that she's not talking about tampons here and she's talking about her dad? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he was there. After three months. Yeah. So, Patty, how did you put it in? I'd lie on the couch sideways and then so <laughs> and shove it in. That's how things go in there. <laughs> the nurse just said, sit down on the toilet and do mm, it. Yeah, so. yeah. Right wonderful. on the toilet. That's right. where yeah, it's right going. That's nice. Yeah. Yeah. First time you violated yourself, you were reading Beetle Bailey. <laughs> 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 Sit on the chair. Let shits where the private gross things happen. All right. Well, hypnotist for Patty in the very I agree. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. All right. We're going to do line of the day. Mm. Get these folks out of here so they could go to unmask with Louis C.K. Yes. yes. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, where again tonight? State, state. I can't remember. The State Theater Fuck. in New Brunswick. Tonight. Tonight. That's right. Eight o'clock. Don't go to Vinny's Club. Go see. Go instead. Oh. <laughs> Louis to the State Theater. All new jokes. Who, who's that? Uh, you guys club tonight. Yeah. Who's the competition? Oh, um. It's Jim David. Jim David. Jim He's David. so funny. Way yeah, funny. I probably. Louis you know. No. Oh! Oh! Oh, so if you want to see Louis C.K., you can go to the State Theater. It's in East Brunswick. Wow. Oh. <laughs> Main Street. That's great. Oh, yeah. She's a, she's a smart ass. I love I it. I love the fact she just came out two cities over. That makes me so happy. <laughs> <laughs> wow. All right. All right. So, yeah, look, at the, look at that fucking contrast between her and Patty. <laughs> oh, that's like, crazy. Look at what can go awfully wrong. She's you they're made up of the much. same chemicals. Yeah. But now that's where the fucking no, they thing actually are not. Yeah. Really? They yeah, are? No, I think one is sugar is and spice and one is shit. <laughs> I had to. I had to. Of course. And you know her. I didn't know I was made of sugar and spice. Oh, oh thank you, Jimmy. That's very sweet. It was romantic. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, Sorry, Christ. Lord. All right, Pat. I don't remember what happened. Oh. In the bathtub, the father's walking in. Fuck. Oh, this house he wants to shave? 
Yeah. No doors. Yeah. No doors allowed. That's right. It's a little fucking. She, no, but yeah. I, I don't know. Her house is a little rat maze. She, yeah. goes, she goes, Dad, and he goes, Give me a fuck. You think I'm looking at you? Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Stop it. Shut your mouth, well. diner mooch. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> In a she basket. Fucking, she what are you fucking, fucking? She's one of the little rascals. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do line of the day. Sponsored by Carbonite.com. Uh, Carbonite backs up your computer hard drive so you never have to worry about losing any uh, any of your files. Check it out at uh, Carbonite.com. Promo code XM. At least five runner up lines. Yeah, wow. Of we still we still got some uh, that right. we're working on. Being right, we'll processed. All right, let's uh, go with the first one. You can do one. We don't have any of them loaded yet. That's what I'm saying. Oh, oh E Rock. E Rock, not E Rock. E Rock, get it, in here. How is it 11.15 and then not loaded? 11.15. Get in here, E Rock. Uh, give E Rock the uh, welcome he's due when he walks in. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Hello, you. shit dick. <laughs> What happened, E Rock? I don't do line of the day. They were finishing cutting up some last minute ones. They haven't loaded it yet. You don't do it. So. You're usually the subject of it. <laughs> <laughs> so we we told uh, Danny to, to stall because we weren't ready yet. I said so. we could at least start because a few of them are cut. Yeah. I don't have it. The, the the rundown or what everybody voted oh, on yet. Oh, Jesus. Oh, wow. so, is this so embarrassing? I'll play stuff randomly. Why don't you. Oh. Why don't you I'm just, not attacking him. I'm just saying oh, the list wasn't done. Why don't you entertain the crowd while uh, yeah, okay. we wait for it? Because we're, what are we supposed to do? Stretch? You guys want to hear a joke from E Rock? Yeah. Yeah. All right, E Rock. Right, Sam's E-Rock. cheering. Yeah. There Eric's going to stretch his shirts. Please. Uh, <laughs> Jimmy, would you like to do the uh, the intro for our next comedian, E Rock? All right. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> you might recognize. Your next look at the panic in his face. <laughs> you you might recognize your next performer. Tit. <laughs> <laughs> then again, maybe you won't. Uh, coming to the stage, E Rock. Thanks for the crowd. Boo! No, face them, not right. us. That's the show. That's the show. Oh, <laughs> oh wait, be more funny. <laughs> E Rock, turn around and tell a joke. I don't have to face the crowd. Face don't the crowd without us. you need confidence. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, Ask I have no jokes. Well, Sorry to How do you not have any oh, jokes? Start over. That was hilarious. Nothing to the table. How do you not have any <laughs> fucking jokes? Joke. I don't know any jokes. Any <laughs> jokes. Joke. From the time you were a kid till awesome. now, you've never heard one fucking joke in your life. I don't remember any jokes. I do not remember Just start talking. Just start talking. Just start talking. Joke. Or do an impression. Do something. Talk about uh, something funny. A funny anecdote from your life. Yeah, let's go. Yes. Yeah, tell them something funny that happened to you go. recently. Right. Go. Go. Funny. Turn your whole body towards them. Turn your whole body. Don't. Yeah. Happened. Dead. Don't turn. Uh, they'll think they're watching Alfred Hitchcock. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Oh, this is oh. Let's see. One time, I punched my grandmother in the side of the face. <laughs> Um, He's killing me. It's not a joke. It's just a, it's a, it's a little anecdote here. Well, why don't you tell what led up to it, you dummy? Exactly. What did the old cunt do? Um, <laughs> Face the crowd. Face the credit. Right. You're doing good. No, this isn't funny. This is just uh, what happened. Than punching her in the face. The, the rest of the story isn't that funny. Why did you punch her in the face? Um, because she she had a tendency to be um, abusive to a, a lot of the children in our family. So, <laughs> so um, oh, there's more. Oh yeah, there's more. Yeah. So how was my, she abusive, Iraq? Yeah. That's I'm curious. All right, in my because she she was old man. Old man. Physically abusive? Yeah, very physically abusive. Did you make you sit on the couch with her? <laughs> <laughs> He's shaking. <laughs> oh, I have mayonnaise jokes. Thank you. Wait. <laughs> Fuck those, man. Yeah, I know. I <laughs> really can bring them in the middle of the story. Okay. E-Rock. Yeah, we want to hear the story. <laughs> All right, Keep going. So, He's doing um, fine. In my family, um, a lot of the kids are... Um, uh, in fours, so they're in fours. What do you mean? I thought you were gonna say like, uh, fat. My parents had four kids. Um, their their siblings had four okay. kids, so everybody was in fours. So <laughs> don't let, don't let it phase you. Okay. It's um, a heckler. Don't let it phase go you. Go through the heckler. Well, so, let's go. Um, so no, all the kids were uh, born in fours. She she was just this miserable old bitch that nobody liked in the family. So she she would pick two kids. 
from each uh, set of four that she liked. And no, not <laughs> What is right? No. So she, that she liked, and two that she either chose that didn't exist or she got really abusive to. Which one were you? Yeah. Which one were you? Huh? I was one of the two that either didn't exist or was being abusive to. So. Wow. <laughs> not us, them. Okay. So, um, one time I'm watching, I think I'm like six, seven, somewhere in there. We're watching TV and it happened to be wrestling. And um, my my younger sister didn't want to watch it. She wanted to watch some stupid ballet thing, so she switched the channel. I screamed, "Fuck you!" And then I, uh, so I switched it back to wrestling. So she yeah. ran off. Yeah. <laughs> so she ran off crying. And then the next thing I know, I hear like this stomping down the hallway. It's my grandmother who was babysitting us at the time. How Comes loud over. was it? <laughs> really loud. So. <laughs> She comes over, starts screaming, grabs me, and picks me up and throws me into some other furniture. Right? <laughs> uh, she was in her early 60s, right? So she, uh, she picked me up and threw me into some furniture, and then she grabbed me again and started by, like, by the neck and the shirt and started screaming at me. So I turned around and I clocked her in the side of the face. She went... She went down into the, the piece of furniture, and I went running, screaming, and locked myself in my parents' room. I bring I nothing sound. to the table. <laughs> I, I don't do fully work, sorry. So um, I locked myself in the bedroom, screaming, and I was just... I, I think I called my dad's office at the time. He was working late. And every person that picked up the phone heard me just screaming and yelling, didn't know what was going on, just passing around through most of the company until mm. it finally got to my dad. And uh, I they came hat. home and picked her out. Why are you wearing a hat? No, 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 no. Uh, how about we have E-Rock do fat jokes? Let's uh, let's end with E-Rock telling fat jokes. Okay. Come on now. Uh, and just uh, make sure they're all. I'm. This is. I'm. I'm. So fat that this isn't even yeah. a joke. Where's the fat joke? Wait, Steve, who's, Steve, give me a story. This isn't even a joke. What is this doing? I'm so fat, fat jokes, that fat I don't have any fat. What's jokes. the story sure he gave you? Do, but What's I the no story he gave you? Yeah. Um, it it's says, about somebody who wanted to be a musician but became a homosexual. <laughs> <laughs> It's from a yet-to-be-released autobiography. <laughs> good, I'll explain it. That's good. <laughs> Come on, what's the story, you rock? Um, it's titled Mexican Mayonnaise Joke. <laughs> uh, most people don't know that back in 1912, Hellman's mayonnaise was manufactured in England. In fact, the Titanic was carrying 12,000 jars of the condiments scheduled for delivery in Veracruz, Mexico, which was to be the next port of call for the great ship after it stopped in New York. This would have been the largest single shipment of mayonnaise ever delivered to Mexico. But, as we know, the great mm. ship did not make it to New York. The ship hit an iceberg Boring. and sank. The cargo was lost forever. The people of Mexico, who were crazy about mayonnaise mm. and were eagerly awaiting its delivery, mm. were disconsolate mm. mm. at the loss. Mm. <laughs> yeah. I have no idea. <laughs> How do you, spell you can't it? be consoled. D I S C O N S O L A T E. Okay. All right. Uh, their anguish was so great that they declared a national day of mourning, which they still observe to this day. The national day of mourning occurs each mm. year on May 5th. By the way, as you know, it is when you're, known, when you're telling course, these little stories, here's a good idea. Have a point. Uh, 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 He stinks and I don't like it. 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 All right, well. He said Cinco de Mayo, Yeah, I am fucking really depressed now. Yeah, we're all just that was exhausted. Just depressing. Yeah, well, let's do the first runner-up line of the day. Oh God. Good. The only one that I actually read was the one that said what <clears throat> they wanted to do to me. That was. Beat me with a lead pipe. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you said lady got line of the day. You got a runner up line of the day. Yeah, uh, she earned it. Somebody's got to let her know. That's a great line, though. Come on. It is. Right to the next one. It's the second, the second you gotta amendment. Be able to say whatever you want. And then shoot whoever doesn't like it. <laughs> shoot whoever doesn't like what you said. <laughs> Very funny.
<laughs> the next runner-up line of the day. What do you and, want to and say? And what's hanging in the air is that everybody wants to fuck her tits and do a blue. <laughs> Yeah, unmasked today. No. Comics, one o'clock, Fourteenth yes. and Ninth Avenue. That's Next right. runner up line of the day. She's actually yeah, doing pretty uh, well it, considering her background. Mm. Left on, on a four. shut up. Kind <laughs> 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 of fucking say something positive about you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hear it for Stalker Patty today. You know. No. She's, uh, <laughs> She will be hypnotized on our show in two weeks. Yeah. Two weeks. July 11th. July 11th. Next runner up. Uh, a beautiful Wait a minute, what? This is the blanket. diner? What was the diner? Downtowner's Restaurant. Where? Downtown at One Trinity Place. It's not Where? there anymore. I went back to look for it. Of course not. Um, who would eat there after that? Yeah. <laughs> Someone left shit on the counter. Which is another thing, too. <laughs> I've been trying to find oh, out. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, yeah. God damn it. How many more? One? All right, one more runner-up. It's like you'll be going through a mountain, and there'll be like two lanes will go down to one lane, like it for both directions, and there'll be big boulders on top. So if the war starts, they set off charges to drop the boulders to block off all the in charge of the army, the coyote? ridiculous. Very nice. Mm -hmm. You guys have fun today. Yeah. Here's your line of the day. Here comes line of the day. Line of the day. So oh here, God. put that on and... Uh, put it on? She didn't tell you how or anything? She wore like a yeah. hat. <laughs> put, put it on. Put fucking daisy on it. it looked like Laura Ingalls' bonnet. <laughs> yeah, at that time, you had, had ketchup on it. Why is the retarded girl wearing a Japanese flag on her head? <laughs> I tried to just babble through that whole thing. Babble, babble, babble. I want to suck your cocks. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good tag. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll uh, see you soon. Thanks for coming by. Yeah, thank you. Thanks, 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 Have a good weekend. We'll see you guys Monday. Later. Hopefully.